We have a sub. Why did it not go off on stream elements? Robot subscribed with a tier one sub. Why did it? There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Twitch. Anyway, greetings, foolish mortals. To get the little thingies off of my face. Thank you. Greetings, foolish mortals. Tis I, Cat, here again. We're back in Yakuza. Thank you, Jinx Radis. Radis for the uh, follow. Wait, Jinx Radis. You follow Numskull, right? Because this name seems very familiar and I have seen it before. And thank you for the follow, by the way. Um, thank you for the follow. Ah, hello! Oh, Jinx, by the way, uh, just so you know, we have a Discord. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! <laughs> Figured out if I'm gonna keep hanging out, might as well pay for my seat. Well, now that you have paid for your seat, you now get a really comfy liner. I mean, you already had a liner, but this one's a really good liner. Anyway, uh, by the way, uh, Jinx, uh, we have a Discord if you are interested. I'm tr I need to promote that thing more. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Uh, where we do, like, viewing nights and all that jazz. Yes, I am alone today. I might have someone come over and pop into my brain to hang out with me while we do Hostess. Thank you, Jinx. Um, again... What the? Why are my cords so weird? Why am I asking myself this, cat? You know why your cords are weird. You're, you're, you're a weird little freak who doesn't like to organize. Anyway. Also, I can do this now. Yes. A ghost host for the ghostess. Eh, yes. Ah, thank you. So, we're going to start Yakuza Kiwami 2 again. Um, I will be doing more hostess stuff. So if you are not into the hostess mini game of the Yakuza series, well, screw you. I love this part of the game. Um, ah, uh, bongo party. Um, <clears throat> so let's get that going. Uh, also, I will do a little small admission. I did go and play this game off screen. And by play this game, I mean I did some adjustments on the outfits of the girls I currently have. So I could get them at their most peak, so I can crush the enemies even better. And make more money. But crush the enemies! So we have that. So, let's get moving to the next screen. Come on! I can do this! I can- I can stream without help! I don't- I- I, I like having friends though, because then it becomes even more relaxing for me. Anyway, let's do this! Boop. Ooh, why you choppy? Game, game, okay. Uh, let me just do a little graphics check. 30 frames per second. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Advanced. Oh yeah, I made texture quality low because for some reason, if I do anything higher than low with this, it goes insane. And I have no idea how to fix that, and if I knew how, I would tell you, but I don't. So, bleh. Um, so let's get this going. Continue. Gumpari, gumpari, senpai. Urai, gumpari, gumpari, senpai. Ah, now this little pink light means she's ready for a date, which will help with our improvements of everything. Dating time! Oh, where's my assistant to read my freaking answers for me? Don't worry, I have a guide. I think I don't carry a guide on my freaking phone. That's fan fiction, cat. Fan fiction's not gonna help us now. Who summoned Majima, husband? Who summoned the husband? Uh, uh, one day I will have a setup where I can have dual monitors. But until that day happens, I'm stuck with this. Uh, okay. All the way to dating, which is all the way down there. Oh, God! That's one way to greet me. Hello. Oh, hi, 
Hi, Tim. How are you? Hey, Tim, do you want to be my assistant and look at a guide for me and tell me how to, what's the best way to make this girl really, really happy? Uh... I got it, Tim. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. <laughs> no one wants to have to do dating with fictional women. copy this and I'm just gonna how are you doing by the way Tim you doing good you feeling good I'm not too bad you feeling funky fresh <laughs> what funky fresh really I, I'm I'm white I don't do really good apparently okay dating how to date I don't know <laughs> I know how Take to date. And go you I like your face or we I'm... date now. So, apparently when the hostesses hit level 10, I'm trying to explain this to seem smart and and everything. When they hit level 10, or tw get 10 and 20 and 30, you get dating time. Right. And dating time basically helps you get up levels even better and actually improve their stats. Think of this like an RPG. With the Funny you should say that, I'm literally booting Skyrim at the moment. I actually had a very interesting conversation about Skyrim last night, actually. Oh? Well, we were talking about Skyrim and how it's still a legacy. Basically, someone was comparing Skyrim to the Beatles. How there's no way you could recreate that moment with Skyrim. And he was also wondering how comes... Uh, this person was also wondering how come Skyrim has had its el longevity as long as it has. Mods. That's what I said. I said, well, there's <laughs> multiple reasons. Not only the mods, like you said, which gives it replayability and also the all of that. I also pointed out it was at a really interesting time during technology. People were not just rely. It was more easy for you to build compute your own PC at home nowadays. Mm hmm And so you didn't have to rely on Alienware or some person off off the thing. You could easily do it yourself. The information of internet and how to do it was readily available. I also pointed out that Skyrim, unlike Dark Souls, was available on multiple platforms when it first came out. Which means accessibility for all. <laughs> Fair enough. And the community is not dick. Well. Equally true. For the most part. Yeah. Unlike. Okay, let's just put it this way. Skyrim is not known for dick community. Well, I mean. It isn't. It's known for. Haha, <laughs> look at silly game go burr. Exactly. We, we make jokes. And like. Oh, she's so nervous. She's so nervous. Also, do you like her outfit? I designed it myself. I do like her outfit. It's for peak making men dr throw their money at her. Understandable. Have a nice day. As well as crushing my enemies. The problem is all the guides are like, okay, this is what you do for her base hair and outfit. I go, but I don't like her outfit. Actually, no, her standard outfit is nice. There's another character whose standard outfit pisses me off. It's like this weird pink frilly thing. And it looks like infantization. You know those baby doll dresses? Yeah. Now you understand where I'm like, why do I change this outfit? God almighty. Because also, I just don't give a fuck anymore with Skyrim. Like, yeah, I will on occasion decide to try and play it properly, but that then devolves into, haha, no. Ah, you mean like me, like the stories of people taking all the cabbages that they can find, putting them on top of the mountain, and then Fusro dying them and seeing how far they go. Oh no, not that. I use console commands to buff up my experience. Oh damn, you you are you and me. I I buff up my carry weight. Um what I've done is I maxed out my enchanting, crafted myself a set of mage armor. Um because that is something I can do at the moment. Because thanks to the mods there's uh, what is it? Unarmored dwarven mage stuff, which I just absolutely love. Oh, yes. Um, but most of that has. You know, like the rogues you get where destruction spells are 15% less and magicka regenerates 10% faster? Yes, yes. Uh, it's got basically two of those on each of the armor pieces one for destruction and then either conjuration. Or aberration. But it's just conjuration. I was about to say, there's conjuration, because aberration, and illusion. Powered? What? And I go, ha, ha, I'm just going to throw a Dramora Lord with a problem. Uh, no, my personal, uh, what I love doing for me, I I don't activate Immortal Mode. I don't, in fact, activate God Mode. I activate Tim Mode. 
Tim mode. It's basically t the code for it is Tim. It's immortal mode. Meaning I can I can lose health, I can lose stamina, I can lose magic, but it will re but I can regen it. I just won't die. See, I don't turn on that mode. I just give myself the buffs to do it so that if anything does kill me, it's worthy. Yeah. Um, I also have a necklace and a ring, which give me restoration spells uh, cost less, and my magic can regenerate 62% faster on both. Yeah, um... I am disgusting. <laughs> I'm just sitting here going, I'm a battle mage. I, I would be a battle mage, but it's much easier to throw a horde of summoned things at the problem. Oh yeah, you're also, a yes. Thanks to one of my mods... <laughs> Quite literally, you know how there was a thing where you can only have two summoned things at once? Yeah. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. I can have so many. Yeah. Also, sorry. It's actually obscene. Also, audience, sorry, I wasn't paying attention to the chat right now because I only have one screen on my computer and I'm using a teeny tiny little screen that is known as my cell phone to read the guide and that's usually how I read the chat. Oops. It's okay. Quite literally, just now, I've just summoned six Storm Atronax. Only six? To be fair, my Magicka does need to regenerate. Oh, she's talking about how the lady who runs the Hostess Club is her inspiration. That's adorable. Let's see, 5, 10, 13 Storm Atronax. 15, 16. So, why do the Fire Ones have titties? Think about it. No, think about it. Wait, are the fire ones the ones with the titties? I'm about fire titties. No, 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 wait, is it the is Flame Actronaut that has the fire titties? Yes. Yeah, why Flame are... ones are fire titties. Yeah, how come the girl... How come the freaking other ones are, like, genderless and yet the fire one is lady? I know, I know. Because she's hot. Because she's hot. <sighs> Next question. I'm just being followed by a bunch of sentient rocks held together by lightning. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it's it. It's so stupid. I remember my first- Also, there's Sorry. Uh, spells I can now get to summon literal swarms. Can I summon a giant fluffy chicken? Yes! Oh yeah, there's a mod for that. That's one of the spells! Oh. Uh, you have to buy a spell tome for it, but I think it's basically just summon giant chicken. Nice. No. It's so dumb. I remember, um... So, Red Claw Draws, my stream, I can talk about whoever I want, um, basically is, uh, ta was, is doing Skyrim for the very first time. He's never played Sky Skyrim. He wasn't really into gaming at that time. He was going through, like, a, there was stuff in his life, I think, if I remember correctly. So he's playing Skyrim for the first time, and he's doing the whole no backseating, no da-da-da-da-da-da. And I sit here going, can I tell you about cool technical things that happens behind the scenes of the game? It won't, it won't, it's not really, you know lore or anything or you know things that will basically spoil you but it's fun and he likes those he likes those it's fun because people were trying to give him lore information and his head kind of exploded because we were like guys 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 let's let's not talk about the theology of skyrim right now it's more ridiculous than ours bro this man became a god but then these people said no he didn't it's like Liz I even made a joke like, listen, listen, the complexities that is the Altori Dominion and all the God War and all that jazz is more complicated than anyone will ever understand unless we break out every single episode of Shoddy Cast. Which we're not doing. What I've generally tend to notice is that Brexit voters tend to side with the Stormcloaks. I can't side with the Stormcloaks. I'm... I can't either, they're horrifically racist. I'm like, like your armor, I am reappropriating it for my non-racist needs. <laughs> Oh no, I'm being attacked. Stormy, get him. The hostess kind of looks like Bayonetta. Yeah, that kind of happened. That just kind of happened with the accessories and the outfits. Because the outfit she's currently wearing is one of the two dresses she can wear and her stats are like at her peak. Right? But like, I like this one more because it's a prettier shade of blue. <laughs> Fair enough. Even though it is basically a Chun- it's a very sexy Chun-Li dress. So a Chun-Li dress, then. Does Chun-Li does Chun-Li have a boob window? Last time I checked, no. It's Chun-Li- you said it's a sexy Chun-Li dress, so a Chun-Li dress. Yes. I know there's most likely- Because Chun-Li is sexy. She could crush you with her thighs. And I would thank her. 
Yeah, I love it. I was like, I like her dress and silver jewelry. Yeah, I like... I, can we go for a thing? The weird thing is when I was doing Yakuza 0, because I noticed the funny little pattern that was very close to relation to Sailor Moon, because the other hostess clubs are named Moon, Mercury, blah, 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 right? I was noticing a Sailor Moon pattern. And so it basically I made all the girls kind of look like the original Inner Sailor Scouts. So when Cora asked me, what's your plan for this one? I go... Uh, I joked saying I'll do the outer Sailor Scouts because I've already made this one look like Sailor Saturn. Uh, so... Meals on me. So, I joked saying the outer Scouts, but I think I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do whatever I think looks pretty. Because... Who doesn't want to go to a hostess club full of goth chicks? I can't think of an answer. <laughs> I was about to say... Damn. The dating has been done. They have consumed. They have dated. They have kissed. No, they haven't. They're just friends. Holy shit! What? One of my... These... This motherfucker here just managed to take out two of my Dramora Lords. You are almost worthy if it weren't for the fact I can just keep summoning them. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fun for people who watch the VOD later on going, What What? What about Dramora? Because I know there's a couple of people who follow me who just listen to the audio and don't actually watch Sorry. it, watch it. No, it's fine. No, this is fine. This is pure entertainment for me. The chaos is fine. I like the chaos. It's good. Let chaos reign. Let chaos reign. May the chocolate pudding be with us. But, so I know there are some who just listen to this audio, and I'm sitting here going... <sighs> okay, can I talk to you again and go on a date, or do I have to do a... Okay, I gotta do some training with you. Okay, so, uh, can you see my stream right, th right now, or are you too busy Skyrimming? Which sounds like a sexual... I can see, I've got your stream open. Okay, so do you see this pink dress? Do you see how ugly it is? This is it at a distance, you do not want to see it. It's such a boring dress. It's such a what dress? Boring dress. It's a weird 1980s baby doll frilly thing, and like the material looks like the clothing you would use for children's clothing, so I'm like, mm -hmm, I'm not gonna think about it. I have KFC flavored crisps. <gasps> I want one, gimme. <laughs> what? It's just the way you said it, it's adorable. The gimme? Mm-hmm. Uh, everyone thinks I'm adorable until I fucking shank them in the kidney. Hi, mother! Speaking Hi. of kidney shanking. <laughs> Me and your sister are going to pet smart. Why? Hey, Moogle! The lizard, some crickets. Okay. Tell the people I said hello. They're going to the pet store to pick up some crickets for the lizard. Ah. Uh, My si the ones that we know aren't there anymore. Aw. Alright, so she's absent, so we're gonna do some club managing. Alright, girls, my lovely ladies, my lovely little lady whiteies. We're I can't hear lovely ladies without thinking of Les Mis. What was that? It was nothing. It was just, you know, Dribble Lords! You're having fun over there? Yes. Okay. I like literally summoning the forces of hell just to solve my problems. Alright, okay, so you need to know some fun facts. The headmistress here, she's the, t she's the group mom. She's really good, she brings the cookies, and she's very careful, and she makes sure the girls look their best. We love her. Love the headmistress. <laughs> Scaly friendly munchy bugs. Uh... Cherry, right now, she keeps forgetting to do her eyelashes that well. There's story we put in story. Listen, this is what happens when me and Core get bored. Well, not bored. But, is it bored? Would I call it bored? Bored or creative? Creative, yes, thank you, Mother. My mom has the brain cell today. Are, am I winning? Define winning. Are you winning some? Uh, let's see. Okay, we have a new girl. Who should we just replace her with? Okay, love, I know you're like my number one girl or something. I don't know why you're my number one girl. Because, like... Oh, I know why she's the number one girl. She's had the most freaking sales and stuff. I'm gonna put in Serena. We always must support the homies. Support the homies. Okay, the Paradise League is gonna be a dick. Okay. 
Okay, I'm sorry. I absolutely love what I just saw on my screen. Which was? So, I'm currently just wandering my way through a diamond... Diamond? Through a mine with three Dramora lords following me. Just you um, and the girls hanging out, gotcha. <laughs> me and the boys, and the uh, boys. to be fair. Boys. I, I am playing a female Khajiit, though. Huh. Um, um, because I want to make myself as anti-storm cloak as possible. Ah, you play basically the role I usually play in Skyrim. Although, for my very first playthrough, I will admit I uh, played as a uh, Imperial because the concept of being able to find money randomly was nice. Mm. But then I was like, but kitty people. But then I stopped doing the kitty people because no offense, the fur patterns are very... While interesting, are... Limited? Yeah, I get it. I do love There's probably a mod for that. Oh yeah, there is. There's a few mods. There's a mod where you can <laughs> play different types of Khajiit because you know how the Khajiit basically are changing. It depends on what the freaking moon is, is what, they gr what they're going to look like and all that jazz. But yeah, um... So yeah, I'm wandering through this dungeon. A Draugr tries to swing at me. Uh, and literally, before his sword touches me, my Tremorlord just runs in and swipes through him. Okay, you need a lady's glass. It's because he's talking about his freaking Beyblade collection. Uh, the joke is whenever they're ordering drinks for themselves, I go, oh, they're talking about something really stupid and nerdy or something like that that they're really losing interest in. The only problem is, every time I've done that, Core actually happens to have knowledge about that thing. Like I said, oh, he's talking about Transformers. And then Core went on a spree about classism and Transformers. I go, I did not expect that. And then I was, like, talking about Gundam, and he talked about his Gundam collection. I'm like, oh, God, Core, you're such a nerd in a loving way. Oh, I eat this. Yeah. Konnichiwa! Ooh, kawaii desu. You are so gonna piss off someone. <laughs> Probably. Madam, what do you need? Ah, you need ice to shove down his pants if he gets too flirty with you. Gotcha. I know that's not what she needs it for, but I'm gonna have my jokes, thank you very much. Yeah, Argonians and Morrowind are a little awkward, because, you know, the slavery. Wait, is it the slavery for them, or is it... Something. I wanted. Is it weird that I kind of wanted there to be more racism in Skyrim if you chose to play as an elf? Kinda! The, the Stormcloaks don't like them to the point that the Dark Elves have to live in what's called the Grey Quarter, which is hideously uncomfortable. Oh, uncomfortable with a capital. Ugh. Oh no, he's just pointing out how, like, there's this whole aspect of them. Yeah, it's a little weird you want that, I'm gonna have to admit to that. But... I don't know, I consider an extra wrinkle of difficulty if you want to play that particular race, it'd be fun. Mm. No, I, you know those guys Please who are- no, I do not promote real life racism. <laughs> Fantasy racism, though. Give a gracious send off, thank you. Uh, no, I remember, the, you know those types of guys who always side with the sn Nords, refuse to try any other playing aspects, think the Nords are great, racist, um, those types, who play Skyrim? Brexit versus. The what? It's a British thing. Gotcha. Do none of these women make you happy? Oh yeah, cause, uh, um, well, see, I'm currently trying to deal with the next level of, uh, of the hostess, uh, ranking system, and then the, the next rank, all these people like partying, and I don't have a lot of party girls. Yeah, folks are always not allowed into the cities until you play one. Yeah. Hell, even, like, there's some thing issues with, like, a pair of Red Guard folk um, in Windhelm. Oh, uh, yeah, the Red... Which is, and then there's, like, the, Argon the, the Argonian drug trade. Yeah. Argonians seem to have a bit of a better deal. People just keep calling them druggies. Yeah, well, they say that the same, for, and then they called the, uh... Oh, the skooma as well. Yeah, the skoomas. Skooma. Khajiit has the word if you have the coin. Khajiit has skooma? <laughs> Khajiit does not have skooma. You racist bastard. No, um... I remember... So my Etsy store, which I have, which has not made any real sales, I'm going to be perfectly honest, and I'm considering transferring because of after the bullshit that Etsy's doing, once again... Okay. 
What's it doing now? Uh, basically, it's upping the, uh... They're doing markups like crazy, and they didn't tell anyone that they were doing markups. Sounds about right. And they haven't given a shit about any of the creators at all. Like, unless you've been making a lot of sales, they do not help. It's just like, there's a lot of problems with Etsy. I'm gonna be honest. So I've been considering moving shop for that, but I'm sitting here also going, what's the point of me moving shop? None of my stuff is that great. Cat, no, stop self-depreciating. We've talked about this. I know, I know. Are you talking to yourself? No, this is me doing the hand puppet thing. Oil Baron! I mean, yeah, know your worth. Don't get me wrong. Sorry, hold on. Oil Baron! Oh. No, Oil oh, Baron! Match to indulge the Oil Baron! Put X to Oil Baron! Holy shit, this must be a new aspect that they put in the game for later levels, so you'd be like, yeah! I did not know Oil Barons existed in this game. I mean, it makes sense, but you get the point. Holy shit, I'm already number i I'm already number one in Osa- Oh, damn. I did not think- son? What? Damn, son! Okay, okay, okay. Girls, girls, give me a second. I have to go shopping for things. Homie just came in and literally made it rain. Yeah, he made it rain and basically launched me from the bottom of the list to, like, second highest. I make it rain, I make it rain, I make it rain on them hoes, I make it rain. I just want you to know that I am imagining your teeny tiny little librarian doing teeny tiny twerks right now. Please don't. Too late! There's one thing I will not stand for in my library, it's twerking. You also won't stand for speaking library and your li speaking Latin near Who's the ancient- Who's speaking library? Who's speaking library? How dare you come into my library and speak library? Okay, so I need... So the League fans in the Paradise League... I did really well in the Paradise League. I'm, like... I was bottom and in the Paradise League, and now I'm, like, not... I'm one away from taking over. Although, to be perfectly honest, I think that's just purely luck. Okay, so I need to go to... A bunch of places. Also, I... I've also realized that I only ever play the main campaign of Skyrim out of boredom. <laughs> okay, does anyone really play the main campaign? No, we do it for dicking around in side quest. Actually, no, tell a lie. I play the main campaign until I get dragon rend. I play up until, uh... I go up to the throw of the world, I now have the ability to talk to the Grey Mains and be like, Show me where the magic words are! And then I stop. <laughs> I like your funny words, magic, magic man. man. Okay, let's see. Partner shops, I've already got the Fresh League ones. Koto meets da 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 dee da da dee da 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 Sotan Wrestling. Fun fact, Sotan Wrestling. Not a place where there's sexy girl wrestling. It's just a shop for clothing and sportswear. Oh. To be perfectly honest, I'm shocked. Holy overkill, Batman. You call me? Um, no, I literally just uh, fireballed one skeleton. <laughs> Why did you fireball a whole skeleton? You know what that skeleton Because he was advancing at me menacingly. Well, I advance at you menacingly. I don't see you f throwing fireballs at me. Also, Would you like me to? No. Also, Brobot, oh, for... also, Brobot has said he's going to Dewey Decimal all over this bitch. <laughs> Please respect the Dewey Decimal system. I have to respect it. Do you forget I was a librarian's aide back when I was in high school? I memorize... They're like... Do you really need the Dewey... De You'd still need the Dewey Decimal System for uh, organizing everything, right? Which is a thing that some people tend to forget. And it's so weird because I was explaining the Dewey Decimal System. And then someone went and said the phrase, and I quote, What's the Dewey Decimal System? <laughs> Ask me how old I felt when I, heard, when I heard that question. I thought I didn't trigger these anymore. Nope, you triggered them. You've triggered everyone. Everyone's triggered. Ah, now I'm on fire. Oh crap, my cat chat disconnected on my Twitch phone app. I'll have to fix that after fighting. So if anyone's saying anything really nice to me right now, I wouldn't know it. 
Oblivion had a great metal as fuck main quest, says Punk Mobile. What was it? Oh yeah, because you could go through the different like realms of hell? Basically. Yeah. Which is one aspect I'm really, really a cool a fan of, because I'm like, yeah, I want to go to the different hells. I want to hang out with all the crazy people. I want to party. I want to party like it's your birthday. We're gonna oh, rock. to be fair, you get to go to the afterlife in um, Skyrim, too. Yeah. Yeah, and I get to deal with the weeping angel statues. Great. What? Oh, did you not know that the giant statues in a uh, high in a uh, what's it called? Sovereign God? Yeah, Sovereign God. Yeah. They watch you. You've never noticed that. You can That's be cool. You walk. If you stop walking, turn around. They're looking at you. And if you keep walking, they're looking at you. I'm like, ah, yes. Ah, yes. I too wish to basically be seen by freaking. Okay, take that locker key. All right, where do I have to go next? Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes, 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 yes! The reason why I'm saying no, 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 no is spiders. Like big ugly ones? Yeah, the bi I'll admit that shit me up the first time I played Skyrim was the fucking frostbite spider dropping from the ceiling. I was like, oh, that's cool. You, you're talking to a girl who is not afraid of spiders. Fucking lucky you. Yeah, it's a gift and a curse. It's a gift and a curse. I'm going to be perfectly honest because then everyone expects you to take care of the spiders. Yep. Like, no, 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 no. I do not take care of the spiders. You take care of your own. I am not coming in to rescue you every time a spider comes near you. But. Because I like spiders. I actually wanted a pet tarantula. I can believe that. My mom had pet jump. Hey, boy, you eight legged cum. <laughs> you ever see the movie Eight Legged Freaks? Nope. I was about to say, it's a horror movie about spiders, cat. No, he hasn't. I'm just partnering with businesses right now so I can make what is known as money. Oh, Understandable. Do you guys like snacks? I am a snack. I'm so used to it with me and Core. <laughs> Would you like to be able to enjoy some delicious snacks as well as support your favorite streamer? Why don't you go to Creation Snack Company and go and use code BLACKMOON when you're purchased to get 5% off and use that money to support little old me. Listen, I'm trying here. It's my best. I can say anything. What? I didn't fucking say anything. I know. My plushie is staring at me with impunity. Impunity? Is that the I word? I don't know. What are words? What, what kind of feeling are you going for? Judgment. Just say it's judging you, then. I wanted to seem smart around my English friends. <laughs> How well did that go for you? Horribly. Okay, fine. I want to seem cool with for the kids, yo. For the love of God, if you want to seem cool with the kids, don't talk like that. <laughs> I mean, I get reliably told on a regular enough basis when I lip sync along to rap songs that I am too white to do such a thing. I would never say such a thing. But you're certainly thinking it loudly? Very thing, very much so, yes. <laughs> Please, I'm not gonna just tell you to your face. I am going to take a delicious, refreshing sip of beverage. I think everyone should enjoy beverage. Do not you? Ah, uh, yes. I am a big fan of beverage. Indeed, beverage comes in a selection of wonderful flavors such as lemon and the ever popular blue raspberry. There's a blue raspberry flavor? There actually is for what I'm drinking. Are you drinking gamer sops? Mm mm. The not gamer sops? Sneak, yeah. You know I haven't gotten the email telling me I have the partnership yet, right? <laughs> I have to wait a while for that. 
Yeah, no, that's why I'm freely saying the name of what I'm drinking. And I don't think Gamersubs has that much of a vice grip on what I say in order for me to for my selling. I doubt it's going to be pissy if I was like, I'm drinking. How a many cold. servings do you actually get per tub of Gamersubs? Uh, depends. There's the 61 and there's the 120 and there's the 120. Fair enough. And how much do they cost? Uh, 60 costs around 30 dollars. Wow, we actually get more per game for gamer subs. Also, remember, shipping is a bitch. For you. I don't at know if subs ships to the UK. It does. Uh, because uh uh uh, what's your name? The nice lady, the nice VTuber lady who's a giant twenty billion tall fit tall kaiju. Kaiju fluffs. There you go, cat. Oh yeah, she has them. Mm hmm. Might give him a shot yeah. at some point. Uh, I mean, I've got more than enough sneak to be going through at the moment. Yeah, I had a... I keep coming out with flavors that I really want to drink. Yeah, no, I recently found out that Gamer Subs now comes in grape and cherry, and I'm like... Ah, purple flavor. Purple, basically, yes. Purple flavor. So, there's, there's a very select few people who will perfectly understand what I mean when I say something tastes purple. Are we talking about, like, the purple stuff in the Sunny D commercials? <laughs> okay, we got soda, OJ, purple stuff, and two different types of Sunny D. Wow, two different types <laughs> of poison. Thanks. You allergic? I'm allergic to orange juice. I'm I allergic to that. I'm allergic to oranges. Period. Sorry, it's the running gag. It's the thing that I think a lot of people either a forget or b don't know. And it's so yeah. and it's funny because I told a uh, core that my mom's allergic to oatmeal, and then he just thinks for a second and goes, what's with your family being allergic to breakfast foods? I didn't give it to... Oh, is your family allergic to bacon and sausage now? No, I do have a family member who isn't really, like, family family, but is practically family because she was a friend of the family, um, who was allergic to eggs. That's a shame. Yeah, it is a damn shame. Birthdays were a bitch. Also, God damn it could be just because I'm playing Skyrim, but the frame rate on my end of the old stream is chugging like a motherfucker. It's called freaking Skyrim. I'm playing oh, this thing no. on the Yeah. I'm playing this game Sorry. I'm playing this game on like the lowest settings possible for no chugging from my end of the woods because I was getting some chug issues while streaming this game a while yesterday, so I'm just like Ugh. Oh. I just don't I just made partners with SFT Village, not NFT Village. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not about to murder someone. Oh no, I forgot about these motherfuckers. How could you forget about them? No, it's um the cultists from the Dragon Bond DLC. Oh, those fucking assholes. Right, I know how to deal with these guys. Dramora Lords! Ah, thank you. 10 out of 10 ad read. Well done. Thank you, Brobot. Thank you, Brobot. Your robot supports me. No, I'm kidding. Oh. Ooh, there's a bookstore in here called Revenge Books. I want to read the Revenge Books. Do you guys do you guys specialize in revenge? True crime? Murder mystery? I must know. Okay, now we're going to go back to the club and we're going to party. God damn it, I pissed off some dogs. I'm taking... So look, I'm gonna take your clothes, but only because I need something to decorate my house. I know why and what he's doing. Oh, did you know that the mannequins in the are actually NPCs, not props? I disbelieve. So you know how there are the mannequins in the homesteads, right? And you can put yes, your clothing on. Yes, I'm still on. disbelieving you. Yeah, but they're actually technically NP they're coded as NPCs. Not as props. Because how else do you think you get the clothes on them? Does that mean that, you know, the weapon holders are also NPCs? No, the weapon holders are just are just props. Are you sure? So are you sure about the uh, thingies, then? Yes, because awesome. there's video of basically the the mannequins moving like, you, moving like NPCs when you're not there. There used to be a bug. Which gave a very great Weeping Angel effect, so if you were going for that, that's great. This is not where I need to be. You know where you need to be? Do you know the way? God almighty, that's a dated reference at and this point. Listen, we do that reference a lot here on this stream. We do not care how old the, the meme is. As long as the meme is not horrible and racist, we are fine you with the meme. 
You want vintage memes? We got them. Oh, hell yeah, Dewey. Rafflecopter, baby. Ken has cheeseburger. You know how many people used to send me the Ken I has cheeseburger meme? Not that many, because I didn't have friends. Wow! <laughs> I got dark there. Cat, I'm concerned for you. All right, girls, it's time to go on dates with your sexy man. Sexy cutie, you. Yeah, baby. That makes me sound like I'm freaking Quagmire. All right. That's it. That's a curiosity that I have. Yes. Are there... Do you play Skyrim on PC? Yes. Wait. What mods do you, like, always include? Uh... Well, there's the obvious unofficial patch. Obviously. Like... Um... Immersive armor and weapons? Yep. Uh, I do immerse... I also make it a rule going, if the armor is sexy on the women and not sexy on the med men, the mod does not get installed. Because it's either sexy for all or sexy for none. <laughs> I mean, sexy is ultimately a matter of perspective. Yeah. Okay. I don't want Kira dating. I want the not-so-psycho chick. I need the Kana dating. There we go. All right, Kana, we're going to go on a date. Ah, they're going out for sushi. How do you feel about sushi? Sushi's good. Good. This was the best outfit I could give her. And it makes her look ten times better than what she originally was out, people. Oh, your base. Da, 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 da. Oh, your base. All uh, your base belongs to us. It does make me wonder how freaked out some people must be by the idea of, you know, the dragonborn, you know, the idea of, like, yes, strong, nord, manly, beard, and then there's me as a petite Khajiit woman. My personal favorite is when you, uh... uh okay, hold on. What do I need to do? I don't lose at eating. Okay. All your base, all your base, all your base belong to me. No. Yeah, it, it is funny. Because it's like the furthest you can think of. Hi, I'm a tiny Khajiit lady. You're the dragonborn? Fusro da, yeah. bitch. What? That's it. What's this? Fusro da, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> that's the last, that's the, the unknown fourth word of the foom. Bitch. I'd say it's more Fusro Fus Rotnia. Fus Rotnia? Oh god, that made me feel dirty doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think I considered actually playing Skyrim on my streams again. Again. Yeah, again. But the problem is, it would be a heavily modded Skyrim, because I'm sitting here going, we're modding the shit out of this. Why? Because if we don't mod the shit out of this, bite me. <laughs> Oh, Kana's a big eater. Good for her. She likes her food, and she's not afraid to show it. Nod. Oh, you played volleyball in high school. Good for you. Right, Tim? Just smile and nod, Tim. Smile and nod. I'm smiling and nodding. Thank you, Tim. Well, she says she used to play uh, volleyball. Nice. Also, Chad, how is the stream looking, by the way? I'm trying my best here. I can only do so much on this. It's looking better now. I think it was just chugging for me when you were outside. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, because it's a massive open world thing. Uh, so... You must have worked hard. I sound like I'm trying to seduce you. Madam, I am never trying to seduce you. I am not into you. There is only one man for me, and his name is Majima Husband. His name is John Cena! <laughs> Did I threaten to make a John Cena version of that meme with Majima? Once. Did I give up when I thought about how much freaking editing I would have to do? Yes. 
I think it's because when you're outside, because the open world is legitimately an open world. There is no real loading point. Okay, so it most likely was just my bitrate going a little funky wonky. That or my sister's playing Roblox again. I mean, I'm one to say I have Comcast. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be paying attention to this plot. Aww. Supposed to be. They removed the fun thing that I like to do when I was w playing this, when I did the random talking. You could move your character's head, or you could move Kiryu's head around to make him look at whatever. And I would do that. No, I wouldn't look at her bosoms, you tasteless freaks. You sure about that? I'd admire the texture on her dress. How do I become an amazing heart? Keep working hard. I don't know how I feel about this lipstick on her. Tim, I need a manly opinion. Then why are you coming to me? Okay, Tim, I need a more manly than I am opinion. Then why are you coming to me? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Tim, I just need a second opinion. Hi, everybody. Um, Hi, Dr. Nick. I don't know why that's before I immediately went with that. How How is her... Listen, I, I admit I am the least makeup y person ever. Okay? I mean, the closest to makeup I've ever worn is eyeliner. All I did was stage makeup. So, I. So, if I try to do makeup on normal people, it's gonna be set. I, I make a joke that I stole from Luka Jin, because Luka Jin had a funny phrase and I just stole it from her. Set makeup to whore? <laughs> well, even that sounds like a line from The Simpsons. Yeah! No, it was like really funny because she's pl she was playing if I remember correctly. This was years ago. Uh, she was playing the America's Next Top Model shovelware game for the Wii, and there's a makeup section, and she's like, "Oh God, set makeup to whore." <coughs> because of it rude? No, no, the makeup choices were really bad. Even for the 2000s standards, it was really bad. <laughs> makeup gun. It's like, oh my, you've got it set to whore. <coughs> yeah. Mm. Ah, Robot likes the dark palette. See, I'm trying to go for a group of sexy, dark, goth chicks who could all rip your testicles off if you ask them nicely enough. <laughs> you know there's a fetish for that. And some who won't. Wait for you to ask them nicely, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Right, off to this apparently peaceful place where there is a dragon attacking. Oh, there's a mod that I wanted to try, but it did not like my game. Uh, it's oh? Basically, it's open town, open some. So basically, there's a. Oh, oh, so instead of loading screens. Yeah, there was a. Yep, I know the one. And then there was this one really interesting mod, which was basically if a dragon attacked the area, an alarm bell would go off, and all the NPCs would get the fuck into safety instead of trying to fight the dragon, because none of because last time I checked, farmers can't fight dragons. Anything can fight dragons if they try hard enough. Okay, fight dragon and win. That's how pissed off the farmer is. My cabbages! Ah! <laughs> Just an angry freaking farmer with a scythe. I have gone from farmer NPC to level one fighter. <laughs> I went from commoner to level one fighter. Bye! Oh! You play D&D, &D, right? Tim? Oh, oh, I forgot how- sorry. Oh, ooh, I forgot how what? Crunchy what? How, how sexy Alduin's voice is. No, I was about to ruin that for you, but then I remember, wait, he voices Parthenax. I will be nice. Wait, same guy voices Alduin and Parthenax. Charles Monet! The voice actor for Mario. Oh, yeah. I and also that. was in- a, and was also in the Clue Finders game that I played last week. And I'm like, why is Charles Martinet in this game? I'm not complaining, but why is he in this game, and why is he having a good time, and why wasn't I invited? Uh, so, oh yeah, so so you play D&D, &D, correct? Tim? Hmm? You play D&D, &D, correct? Yes. Sorry, okay. I'm back and forth in between paying attention to what's on one thing and another. It's okay, Tim. You're doing multitasking and not a good job. I'm kidding. Shut up. I'm kidding. Meh. Yeah. So, 
I got invited. I'm doing a one shot with my Thursday DM, and nice. I'm at and Numb's got invited. I invited Numb to it because the DM has actually the DM likes Numb's energy, and Numb was like, I want to do D and D again, and my friend and my DM was like, I'm planning on doing a one shot, and I go, wait, hold on, I have an idea. <laughs> oh no. So I invited Num, and Num and him are going to talk. So it's a one-shot, and usually nine times out of ten, one-shots are either are basically like beta testing for characters for long shots, right? Or just for funsies, yeah. right? And we were allowed to be level eight. And I told... Ooh. And I told the DM, okay, I'm going to... So it's like a weird high seas adventure involving also treasure hunting and all that jazz. It's a one-shot. It's simple. I go, okay, you have one and two options. You get Arrow Flynn or... Kitty-chan! Guess what she won he asked for? Kitty-chan. Mm -hmm. He originally thought I wanted to play Kiryu, right? I'm not playing Kiryu. Kitty-chan. I'm not playing Kiryu. I'm playing I know, you're fucking Majima. <laughs> yes, I am a bugbear. <laughs> it's the reach. Uh, so, it's... I play a bugbear. Apparently, generally, he said, Oh, you could do Hobgoblin for uh, Majima. And I go, I could. And then I read the stats for Bugbear and how Bugbears have a limb, it's limb, not arm, limb, reach of plus five. So it's, you know, plus five feet. As also, did you know Bugbears are naturally sneaky? And, yes. And have the surprise attack option? <laughs> and if that doesn't scream Majima everywhere, I don't know what does. Yep. And it's also good ideas on what to throw at my party in the future. Do you want to borrow my Majima staff? My Majima bear? <laughs> I'm good. Okay, good. So right, back to the dragons. So it was actually... Carry on. So it's really funny. So basically, it's level 8, like I mentioned. It is, uh... If I remember correctly, he is four levels in fighter, uh, battle master, if you were curious. Four levels in uh, op in Monk, the open palm one, because I wanted to really have fun with Fury of Blows. Nice. Uh, let's see. I have for the feats... So the DM I do, he allows one feat for a first level. You, are get, you get one feat for your first level, and then you can do the traditional thing of, you know, either improve your ability score or get a feat depending on, you know, what level yeah. you are. So I go, okay. So um, I have alert, mobile, and tavern brawler. I think I might have broken my DM when I sent him that. <coughs> Waits for audience reactions who play D&D. &D. So I just basically, I made Majima in D&D &D and I'm very proud of it. My DM, on the other hand, is crying in the corner. Sorry, I have a slight cough. Pollen count is high. Madam, it is not a date. I am currently married to a man known as Majima. He's very handsome and I'm on the hunt for him. He went missing. I have to find him. Aren't dates for lovers? You've never been on a friend date, have you, madam? How's it going in Skyrim? Are you winning, son? Hello? Alright. It's okay. A dragon. Okay. You could have just said yes. Okay. Gotcha. Tell me when the dragon's dead. Get back here, you pussy. What are things I Oh, I forgot you could do that. What did you do? If you do enough da damage to dragons just by default, you can make them crash land. Doesn't bother me. Okay. I forgot you could do that. What I like doing is shooting fireballs at it. And then being annoyed that it's not like D&D &D fireball. She's so flustered because she thinks this is a lover date. No, this is a friend date, sweetie. Friend date. You ever been on a friend date, sweetie? You're doing amazing, sweetie. You're doing great, honey. I'm going to get these girls really happy and make them the best lovers in the land. Wait, what? 
It sounds like I'm a fucking prostitute. <laughs> Wait, not a prostitute. Who are the people who take care of the prostitutes? I can't remember the word. Out here, insult me. Cat forgot words. Kiryu, that's not a date, a question you ask a girl. Oh, she looks so sad. I'm so sad now. It's okay, girl. It's okay. I also was like that, and then I have my had my ex, and we don't talk about my ex. You'll be fine. We don't talk about Bruno. Oh, no, no, no. I swear, I will sing Bruno sooner or later, over and over again during a stream. It was our wedding day. Are we getting ready when there wasn't a cloud in the sky? I haven't actually seen the film yet. I'm gonna kidnap- I, I, I understand the basic foundation of what happens. Okay. One day I'm just going to do a viewing night and have you watch this, Encanto, because you're going to basically feel emotions. There are- I know there are also people who will feel more emotions than I. Oh yeah, you're looking at one of them. I so wasn't in a pile of my own tears after I was done. Don't you mean a puddle? Wow. Pile. Yeah, I was about to say, don't you mean a puddle cat? No, pile. No, a pile. <laughs> That's impressive. God, that, it made me feel a lot of things. Emotions. Emotional damage. Lots of emotions. Emotional emo damage. damage. <laughs> the whole movie's emotional damage. <laughs> Alright, let's see, where do I need to go? You I'm going to go back to the Greybeards, because I need to give them their horn. Honk, honk. Not that kind of horn. I know, it's the special horn that gets stolen by that stupid lady, and she's like, we're working on- I don't like them. I don't- I like- The blades, I mean. The what? The blades. Yeah, the blades can fucking bite me. Um... Like, oh yeah, you know that one dragon that's been so helpful to you, and you know, is basically a mentor? Go kill him. Yeah. And I'm like, how about, one, I'm the fucking dragonborn, by your admission, you answer to me, so you can go eat it. Oh, someone did a TikTok of basically, like, what I really wish my en my character could do, and basically it's chewing her out, going, last time I checked, I am doing all the work. All you do, all you're doing, ass turd, yep. is sitting in the corner complaining. How about you show a little fucking appreciation for all the work I do? You know what? Fuck it. I'm the leader. You're out. 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 Shoo. <laughs> shoo. Shoo. Uh, right, now where's the only greybeard who can talk to me? Uh, standing, hopefully. Did you know you can improve your sneak by basically sneaking behind them all the time? And Greybeards is a great way- It's basically the greatest way to improve your sneak real well. Just like, da 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 da. Sneaky sneaky. Oh yeah. Yes, Master Arangar. It matters what's inside. Why can't they talk again? I can't remember why they can't talk. Oh yeah, because if they talk, they'll break everyone. How do they communicate? More importantly, what's lovemaking like for them? For what? For who? The Greybeards. I don't think they do a lot of lovemaking. Are you gonna tell me that a- I'm sorry, I don't know how to tell you this, but monks used to do it all the time. What used to be all- only five of them! RG! Wait. And I guess it might not matter that they're all men? Yeah. Wow, I can just see her huge tracts of land from here. Stop looking at the huge tracts of land. Madam, madam, do you ever like get weird bits of like the sushi rice in your cleavage? How do you get it out? Thank you, Master Wolfgar. Now I know the word da. That's yes in Russian. Well, am I wrong? Hmm? You learned the word yes in Russian. Da. 
And I'm being taught how to use it, which means I now have my first full shout. It will be your only full shout. No, no, actually, you can hunt a lot. You can get... uh, I was about to say, what's that one which basically helps you mark animals for death or whatever? Oh god, they're all gonna use the voice on me. I forgot about this. Maybe I'm in love right now? Uh, Kiryu, please stop flirting with these women. They are not Majima. We flirt with Majima only. Or me. Flirt with me. Kiryu, please pay attention to me. I'm lonely. I actually need to look up a translation of what they're shouting at me here. Fuck you. Something something sure. Something something Dobakin. There has to be someone who's translated this, right? Because Dova Probably. The, the language of the dragons is, oh. is a full on realized language, if I remember correctly. Skyrim actually put effort into that. Thank you, Skyrim. Thank you, Elder Scrolls. Thank you, Bethesda. Thanks, Todd Howard. Ugh, I feel dirty saying that one. All right, girls, you're all happy? Good? You're dating, you're happy, your stats are improving, you're going to become gods, and you're going to crush people under your foot. Good thing you're wearing the nice long heels. Alrighty, let's get going. Eat with a platinum hostess three times. Woo wee. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Yes, we're gonna open the club. And we're gonna see if an oil baron comes to give us money. Okay, tonight's shift. We're gonna shift some girls around. Miss Green Energy over here, you're gonna be replaced with this one. You're gonna be replaced with this one. You're gonna be replaced with. Fuck! This one. You're also gonna be replaced. Hold on. Uh, let's do scouting to see if any girls come out. Come on, girls! Let's get a new girl up in here. <gasps> Ooh, gold rank! Hello, madam! Wantanabe has joined. Wantanabe what? Cat, that was a bad joke. You should feel ashamed of your shame for yourself for that joke. Shame. <laughs> I do. Oh wait, I can do championship right now. Oh, I could. No, I don't want to do it. My girls aren't- my best girls aren't at their best. And I need my best girls at my best. I care about them, people. I care about them dearly. Hooray! I have made a payment to my energy company. I am now in credit with them. Yay? And that's how it's gonna fucking stay. We're gonna open up with this lineup, and then next one we'll battle the other guys, and then we'll be able to get up there. I am getting up the ranks pretty quickly. I'm very impressed with myself. You should be. Yes. Years of experience. Be proud of yourself. Yeah. I can be the best hostess in the land. Well, host leader thingy. Enjoy, Wantanabe! Ah, yeah, we're making the money. You're making that dollar dollar. dollar, dollar. yen yen, I guess. Yeah, yen yen. Right, so before I do that, I know there's something I need to go do. I need to go speak with Olg Alova the Feeble. I don't think I would want the Feeble in my name. I think she's. To be fair, she's elderly, in her defense. I still wouldn't want the name The Feeble, even if I- even with my bad back, I wouldn't want The Feeble. The guest would like a glass. There you go, madam. Here's a double shot of whiskey. 
I don't know. I'm trying to make this entertaining for the audience, because if I stay quiet the whole time, people go insane. <laughs> Have fun with Tampopo! Tampopo? Who names you kids? Oh, you don't want your session extended? Okay, is it because you're freaking old, poor? Okay, I get it. Poor people don't get extensions. Wow. Uh, things things I things I occasionally forget. Um, just. Uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna go somewhere with this. Things you occasionally forget. Uh, things. Crap! I did the wrong one. It was supposed to be ashtray. Fuck. Ashtray. And. Champagne fever, everybody! Woo! Make the sun so make the stuff flow. Get the champagne fountains a flowing. None of these women make you happy. I hate you. Gracious send off. Uh, the, um, now I remember where I was going. There's a quest in uh, White Run. Uh, the Find the Red God Woman. Oh uh, yes, that one. Like it is basically one of the biggest cases of he said he. Uh, I hate trying to say that. He said she said. He, yes, thank you. You're welcome. That will be twenty dollars. Get fucked. <laughs> Right, up to Dragon Bridge. Ooh, Wananabe, you need a rest. Uh, fuck, okay, what's that skill called? If it's not archery, then it's gonna have some other stupid fucking name. It's archery. No, it's for console commands. Oh. It's for a... console commands, for some reason, it's not called archery. Marksman. Yep. Just giving myself another little bit of a couple of advantages. Again. Shush. What? One handed. So I need light armor and one handed. Literally light armor and one handed. And look, I just want to play the game without having to fuck around too much. But I love to fuck around and find out. Oh, light armor. Oh, yeah, it has to be the American spelling. Wait, how do we spell armor? A R M O R. And that's my one handed increased. Hooray! There's a great way to improve your that's one handed. That's good shit, son of Or two. Wait, are we pooing now? I didn't know we were pooing. Poo, not poo. Marilyn, go rest. There's a snack bar. There's a there's a rice krispie treat in the back. And remember to hydrate, kids. Oil Baron. Oh boy, this dickhead's back. Hey, he makes me money. Bash harder. 
Damn, I'm not that good at ma button mashing all of a sudden. The oil baron was not impressed. <gasps> the bastard. Okay, girls are improving, level ups are happening, everyone's being excited, everyone smile, be happy, do the little booty dance. Start be happy! Start, twerk <laughs> start twerking in the lobby. No twerking in my lobby! We're not in your lobby, we're in my lobby. I thought I just kind of help but imagine fucking Mr. Mosby. I think Mr. Mosby. At any given point, just no twerking in my lobby! Okay, girls, we need to get the good shit. Alright, we need to get the good kush out. It's from the Dollar Tree. How good can it be? You have to call it that. What do you call it? I don't know, but did you have to call it that? What do you call the good, the good stuff? The good stuff. Look, guys. Next question. Look, guys. It's the good Kush. It's from the Dollar Tree. How good can it be? Okay. That dank holy Kush. <laughs> right now, I'm trying to get the real good girls out here. This sounds so creepy when you don't have context. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. Also, I have to use the restroom. Tim, you are in charge of entertaining my audience. Bad idea. Okay, fine. Tim. I mean, <laughs> why am I in charge of entertaining? Well, you're the one who's English, and English people are good at entertaining, right? Are we? I don't know. I, I mean, you have tea parties all the time. I'll, I'll go and just shut up and uh, go to the just, bathroom. Just, just, just go. Just go, going, going. Be right back, audience. Don't do anything <laughs> I wouldn't. <clears throat> I also have, am back with nuts. They are tropical fruit nut trail mix from Planters. It has... Peanuts, raisins, banana chips, yogurt-covered raisins, pineapple, and cashews. Nice. I shouldn't be talking about other snacks when I'm on, under the sponsorship of Creation Snack Company, should I? <laughs> <laughs> smirt. Yeah, I'm, I'm smirt. All right, girls, we're about to kick some ass, take some names, and beat a woman who looks like she should be on RuPaul's Drag Race and would be kicked off at least within the first four episodes. What is that to mean? <coughs> All right, girls. We're about to kick ass. Paradise League Championship. We've been working hard. Or hardly working. God, why do you have to wear that dress in the freaking cutscenes? I know these are most likely pre-rendered, pre-recorded, pre-something or other. But still. Also, nut sounds. These nuts are salty. Why are these nuts so salty? Don't answer that question, audience. <laughs> you okay that, Chief? You ever had something really salty that made you cough and your eyes water? Mm, nope. That's what happened to me. <laughs> Ah, uh, the drag queen is here. Well, yeah, he's back. I thought we fired you. Is this place becoming a shelter for abandoned train? No. Oh, I love Koyuki. She's a really she she is willing to shank a bitch who insults her friends, and I I respect that. I respect that deeply. Her, on the other hand. Allow me to introduce you. This is the Paradise League champion and number one of the Osaka Heaven Goddess Club. Okay, so Osaka is where it is. It's called the Heaven's Goddess Club. Gotcha. Not to be confused with the Tokyo Heaven's Goddess Club. The Party Queen? Who? Tam? Yes? I need to be mad at people giving these women really bad titles. That's fair. Do it. The Party Queen? Like... Party? Are, are we trying to do like? Oh God! Are they trying to do a freaking reference to? Oh crap! Who was that popular celebrity in the two thousand from two thousand five to two thousand six? Had the I don't know. Had the Chihuahua. Paris Hilton. Bingo. Sup? Oh my God! I wasn't wrong. 
The party queen? Teach them what it means to face the Kanzani group? Teach them to fear? Listen, I don't know how to tell you this. You catty bitches can't really scare me. I got bullied by some really horrible bitches back in high school, and I'm used to this. That says a lot about me, actually. Head pats. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> Just a little. I do love it when teenagers are like, You are being cringe. You're 30. You shouldn't be into this stuff. Sir, my mor child, my mortgage scares me more than you. It's not even you mine. have a mortgage? No, my mom does. <laughs> Her mortgage scares me. <laughs> Understandable. My mortgage scares me sometimes. Sometimes I'm scared about the inevitability of death, too, but that's a normal thing. Yep. It was just like, kids, are you kids trying to bully me? That's adorable. Seriously, though, that is so not my style. I'm just gonna do the my standard teenage girl voice because it's really. I saying that it was like so cringe. Oh my god! You should really pay attention to the world events right now. It's really messed up. I saw an Instagram story about a dog who needs oh, water. Oh, shut the fuck up! I yeah. am begging you. You don't want me to do that voice anymore? <laughs> yes, please stop! I am begging. Ah, uh, reminds you too much of someone close to home. I just. I hate it so much. <laughs> I once was invited to do the Rick and Morty uh, D and D tabletop game, right? And yeah. I didn't know who to play, and they just—it was just basically shuffle up the characters. Everyone gets one randomly, and I will admit I am not the biggest Rick and Morty fan. I know like base knowledge, and I know the. Thing. I know that I hate their fan base for the most part. That I also know. It's actually kind of funny because um, I remember. Uh, this was when Rick and Morty was at his peak, and Sun and Moon just came out. Now, the Sun and Moon, co there were people who were cosplaying as the su as the Team Skull Grunts, and they were doing their thing and having fun. But when people told them, hey, could you stop or could you move, they would behave, right? But the Rick and Morty fans wouldn't? And I was standing... Yeah, I'm standing the Szechuan Yeah, no, I remember standing beside a bunch of freaking Team Skull Grunts and went, damn, the Team Skull Grunts are actually more well-behaved than the Rick and Mortys. Yep, and that they, makes sense to me. And they all nodded sagely, like, yeah. <laughs> but you could also kind of tell that the Team Skull fans were a lot, were more, not mature, but older. Mm. And like, and I've seen like, there's like age gaps in fandom. Like the My Hero Academia fandom is a great set. There are people who are over 18 who are very into the show. Hi, me. And there are the younger Hi. kids. And like... I remember once there was a Kirishima cosplayer. He's, like, in his 20s, and I'm standing beside him watching all these younger fans, these young teenagers, all, like, having fun and doing the stuff. And he's like, and he's like, oh, I wish I was able to express myself like this when I was their age. I go, yeah, it's like jealousy. And they try to invite him into the thing. He's like, nah, nah, have your fun. Have your fun. And he's like, last thing I need to be is the weird, creepy guy who's way, old, way much older hanging out with the little kids. I go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Because they were like, they were doing this thing at the con, which was a con which was a conga line, and it was really annoying, but I'm like, they're having fun, and they're not actually hurting anyone. It's when they start really being a nuisance is when I have the issue, because they were just, they were literally just doing a conga line, walking and, you know, walking around the booze, getting out of the way if they needed to. I'm like, these kids were behaving, they were just very loud. And they were trying to get the Kirishima cosplay to join, and he's like, please no, please no, please no. I go, water? Thank you. <laughs> He was in charge of the photo session for the My Hero Academia photo op, which was so great. And like when he was done with the photo op, he so the floors at the convention center are are stone, and he just lays there in his Kirishima cosplay on cold stone. And I go, does that really feel good right now? He goes, yes. <laughs> it's the greatest feeling ever. <clears throat> hey, I wasn't finished. Oh. This girl, we're not paying attention to plot. I'm just hitting the A button. <laughs> a King Ch Chan marches on certainly to her own drum, huh? Uh, yep. But they didn't notice. Didn't you notice she changed the mood of the room as easily as flipping a light switch? Incredible. I can change the mood by flipping a like flipping a light switch real easy. I'm what? sure you can. I can. I've done it. <laughs> True, and it's infectious. So let's get pumped up. All right, Bono. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You dress like a person who's part of the LGBTQ community who really likes bad fashion. That's a compliment. Uh, 
Uh-huh. Part A. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Will... Oh, yeah. Alright. How hard can this be? We can't be cocky. Remember, never be cocky in this kind of scenario. Fuck! I don't have anyone he likes! We're doomed! We're doomed! We're not gonna win this! We have nothing for party! We should have- I should have checked the thing. I didn't check the thing. I just picked the girls who have the highest rankings. I should have checked the stats. Ah. Your job is to tell me- What? Anakin, stop panicking. Okay. Ah! We don't have a <coughs> But we don't have a planikin. I just went for stats. I didn't consider that they all want party girls. I didn't pick party girls. We're not making the money. Oh my god, my ass is gonna be served to me on a silver platter. This girl's gonna kick my ass. Okay. You okay. could always save scum it. Nope. Because the girls can get a lot of experience from this. I'm just also gonna get my ass kicked process. This is a learning experience. Okay, 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 I can do this. I can do this, okay. Oh you god! She's got the fever happen. Everyone's tired. No. Okay. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Bitch wants a drink. Here's a drink. What's a drink? <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's gonna be a great way to keep the uh, customers happy. Just call them that. This motherfucker here. This guest wants a drink. Can you believe this bitch wants a drink? I mean, that's why we're paying them. We're charging Wait, by the ice cube. Apparently there's um, a place in Las Vegas that does just insult you when you go there. And words cannot describe how much I actually want to go there. I mean, words also do not describe how much I want you to go there. You sassy motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Thank you. Beverages! Everyone! Be happy! Don't hit kill each other! Enjoy yourself, you smarmy cunt! You are the worst at this. Okay, coming from you! Fever! Come on, do your thing! Come on, Fever, do your thing! Extend session. Session extended. Great. Good. Use the extends. Oh god, I'm getting my ass kicked. I did not plan. I did not plan. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay, that one's gonna be next in the wanting of me. Okay. Okay. Praise the girl. Girl gets recovery. That's important right now. I'm right in the spine. You have a spine? No, but I just shot an arrow into some other else's. Okay, check. Madam. Sometimes playing stealth archer is ridiculously overpowered. Yes. That's how come I'm the greatest hunter in all of the land. Hit it! Fever, bitches! Come on! <laughs> Gracious send off! Uh. Grandma, go! You joke, but Grandma's great. The headmistress is great. Okay, we just gotta really, really get that two million. Extend the session! Declined extension! Okay, fine, ready. 
I believe in you. You got this. You got. I'm glad you believe in me. Someone else needs to. Okay. Okay. What do you want? What do you want? Okay. Asshole wants a drink. Have a drink. Congratulations. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. They're about to fucking fever on me. They're gonna fever all over your ass. No, fever basically means it's like super bonus ab ability. Something's gonna happen to me. Praise the girl. Okay, let's go. Ah. Okay, ready to get my ass kicked. Yep. They've just activated fever mode. They're gonna freaking make even more money. Praise the girl. Okay, go, 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 go. Extend session. Session extended. Makes more money. That's great. Fever! Come on, come on, come on. Let's get that last minute fever goodness. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Mash into a dose of the oil, baby. Oil baron in the house! Fuck you, oil you. baron! Oh, uh, did you not get it? No, I got it. Enjoy my love, bitches. <sighs> also, I've suddenly remembered some of the most obnoxious people to deal with in fucking Skyrim as well. The Forsworn. I did it! I barely won! I barely won! You did it! I told you I believe in you! Okay, so the enemy made 2,300,000... 300,000. Jesus, you won by 81,000. I only won by 81,000. Yeah. You, you you see how much I skin of my teeth that was? You still won. That's the important thing. Is it, though? Yes. Yes. Fuck all of you. I've kicked all your asses. I am your new god. Woo! Ah, your shield may be good against... Magic, but what does it do against blunt force arrows, bitch? Why are you using blunt? Use pointy ones. Find pointy arrows. Thank you. It goes through the shield because it's so pointy. Fuck Woo! you, Forsworn. We won! What did we win? A naked woman. Nice! Yay. We won Tim on a hat in a hat. Excuse me? Tim, here's your new hat. What do you mean you won me in a new hat? <laughs> I don't know. I think I was trying to say you won a new hat, like trying to do the TF2 thing, but my brain just burgled. Please, with that nickname, this all the same. I can't remember what the last time I had such an exciting match. Aww, the girls are getting along. By the way, we get the girl, we get the platinum girl after this because you know the fi because the guy who owns the hostess club is like, you, sh you're the reason why I lost. You're fired. Doesn't look in upon himself to see if he's the reason why this sh is shit. Listen, what are you implying uh, at? Buddy, buddy, pal, chum, guy, pal. Have you ever considered it might be you? Yeah. Oh, Akia, you just called out his bullshit. I like you. You, I like. I take back what I said about your outfit. For two seconds. <laughs> <coughs> You're so lame. I'll stop it. Oh, she quit! She didn't Even get fired. Even better. She didn't fire. She quit. Good girl. Good. But you don't get benefits. You can't fire me. I quit. Fuck you. I don't like there's there's some. I remember in Zero, there's one guy. He's like, I want to close the club, and I want since I'm closing the club, can you please take my best girl? She deserves, you know, a good job and good money, and it seems like you'll be she'll be safe with you guys instead of being like on the streets or a more horrible club. Oh, Akia wants to join us. What? What? I scoped you. What? 
No, it's just the traditional startled what? Not new. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, she's oh, she wants to join because it's gonna be more fun. Saves the trouble of hunting you down. Okay, hey, that sounds a little ominous. Well, you know, maybe he wanted to hire her in case she got fired. You know, offer her a job. Oh my god, with your drama right now! I told you from the start, girls gotta live. Oh! Oh! Yas queen! Yas queen! Whoa. Think you could tame a lioness? I choose my own pride. Oh, Yas queen. Go Yas queen. Yas queen. Thank you. <laughs> Why is it hearing an Englishman say Yas queen is really funny to me? Sorry. <clears throat> yas queen. Yas. 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 Hey, I'm walking here. Yas queen. You found a new lot, but I think I found a new lion to follow. Girl, girl, Akia, Akia, Kiryu's taken by Core. Core will cut you if you <laughs> if you go near him. Just keep me purring, Mister Manager. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, I should not have I... been making her a teenager voice. I should have made her a cougar. She's a cougar. I mean, well, damn girl. I mean, technically, she's you know, I don't know how much older, but he's like thirty-eight. Hello, Akia. Uh, uh, have it your way. This is Burger King. What? What? He said, have it your way. So this is Burger King now. All right, the Executive League is up next. They'll tear you apart just to try to outparty them. The Executive League? I can take on the Executive lead. Don't worry. We're going to do a lot of training montage because I sure yeah. as fuck know I'm going to freaking fail. Oh, Kiryu, your hair looks nice from the back. Have you been combing it? Whatever. And don't let the door hit you. Hit that stick up your butt. Oh, Koyuki, I love you. <laughs> You're a good girl. You're a good bean. Great to have you back, Aki-chan. Totally with I me. I love, love the fact that <laughs> when I'm being all sneaky beaky like, yeah. I do 30 times damage on a backstab. Welcome to sneak attack in freaking D&D, remember? Skyrim, you mean? Well, no, in D and D, your sneak attack's ridiculous as well. Oh, the Legend of the Red Eagle. I know that gives me a quest. Ooh, speaking I of think. which, there's a mod you might like since you're playing a Khajiit. It's more of an immersive mod, but it really adds to it for me. Tail armor. Armor for your tail. It, is it just me, or am I the only one who thinks that's actually a nice little? I quite like it. It's a nice mod. Also, breastless Argonians with thick thighs, but that's only because I get annoyed that lizards have boobies. I know, I know, it could be venom snacks. I don't know. Okay. It's time to- Something you don't want to suckle on. No. Although I did like, uh, I think, uh- Wait, what? <laughs> no, no. No, uh, Kaiju Fluffs made a, uh, lizard folk OC who basically was like, their venom is in their tits. Okay. Don't let me have my snitties. I'm so glad other people use that as well. Snitties? Snitties. Snitties. It's a cute. <laughs> also, I need you to look at the screen for a second because I need to ask you a Oh, wait, are the is she on the screen? Hold on. So there's a. I have a man looking at a foot speaking into a phone right now. Okay. Well, see, I don't know if the girls are in there right now. But there's a girl who's part of this club, this basically this group of guys. We do not discuss XCOM Vipers. We do discuss the XCOM Vipers. Snitties for all. Um. So there's a girl in this, uh, we'll call it the League of Villains, if you will. Oh no. I don't know. It's one guy who owns a bunch of hostess clubs and all the girls are his. And there's this one girl, I think she's like the top ranking girl. She looks like the voice actress for Mabel. Or, uh, uh who? the voice actress for Mabel from, uh, Gravity Falls or the voice actor from, uh, what, Tina, Bur Tina Blucher. Tina? Is it Tina? Who's the one who wears the little pink hat of death in Bob's Burgers? No idea. I'm gonna be right back, but keep talking. I'm gonna blow your heads up. Gotcha. But the woman looks just like the voice actors, and Core agrees with me. And I need to. I need a third opinion. I can't handle right, Yoda son. Yoda son. Club Sunshine. Hold on. Hold on. The legendary former owner of Club Sunshine can't handle right, Yoda son. The former owner of Club. Oh my God! You bastard! You backstabbing bastard! 
Okay, context. Yakuza 0, there was this guy known as Yuda, who was basically your assistant who became the owner of Club Sunshine after Majima left, right? He's going turncoat and going after us, you heartless bastard! I mean, he doesn't know that Kiryu has any association with Majima, and also, you know, we don't know this guy personally. But I'm still calling him a heartless bastard for cheating, for, for basically betraying Majima and being part of the evil corporate scheme. Because he worked on Club Sunshine, so it wouldn't have to be an evil corporate freaking hostess club. And now it's become part of the evil corporate hostess club. He has, his club has become the enemy. Majima would cry. I'm okay. No, I'm not. <coughs> oh yes, Kristen Shaw, thank you, by the way. I don't know how I feel about the new Pokemon game. It's slowly becoming... Arceus or, um... What? Gen 9. Yeah. You mean Arceus or Gen 9? Arceus. I like it. No, Arceus I like, sorry. Gen 9. Gen Nine's what I'm concerned about. Scarlet and Violet. Yeah. I feel like it's too soon. Yeah, but equally though, they probably only just announced the names. No, no, it's supposed to come out, I think they said announcements late 2022? Jesus. Yeah. Mind you, actually no, this will be, to be fair, Trying. 2022, no, because that's two games that Game Freak are bringing out, but equally it's different from... Mm. I don't, I, I'm wondering if I misread the commercial and it says more on late 2022, not, you know, it's coming out. I, I'm slowly scared that Game Freak is one being worked to the bone because Pokemon is a very successful series. And also it's turning into the Call of Duty. You know what I mean? They chug a new game out practically every year and it doesn't, and the quality assurance is never the great, greatest. It's a concern of mine. Wait, how did Forshine receive a penalty? A penalty for the tournament? What did we do wrong? We just got word from the organizers. We've been excited for using aggressive tactics and solicitations to artificially inflate sales. I'm sorry, we have done none of that. But yeah, like, we have done none of that. Also, I don't know how I feel about the starters. I really don't like the fire and the water starters. The cat one- yet, so let me have a look. Yeah, the, the grass one looks fine, but I think that's an unfair advantage, but I'm just like, mm. The executive leaders has determined that we shall be allowed to field no more than six hostesses as penalty. We've only had six hostesses. They can't do that. And what's this about grass tactics? They're accusing you of using Yakuza-style tactics to threaten customers into coming inside. Which she hasn't done! I would never stoop to the threats! That's insane! Can't we appeal this? We already have. But they were adamant. They said we'll be disqualified if we field any more than six girls. Oh, come on. Why are you limiting me like this? It's been tough enough if we get disqualified. Fine. Then our time better spent coming up with solutions and complaining about what we can change. I know it's frustrating, but we have to make sure the six girls have the power of eight. Well, I know how we can make six girls have the power of eight, but I don't know if you're allowing uh, conjoined twins into the group. Uh. <laughs> that was a bad joke. Also, apparently, new content for Arceus as well. Well, that's good. Does it say if the new game's coming out 2020 or 2022, or if it's, like... I forgot to look. Go look for that, please. I'm an idiot. Leave me alone. You are not an idiot, Tim. You are a wonderful being librarian who accidentally licked a tome. I, I lick one tome! <laughs> yeah, you licked a tome. A tome. Tome. At least it wasn't toes. Yeah, ooh. Due to, some <laughs> due to some accusations, Four Shine has received a, num a number limit penalty. With this restriction, you will have to compete in the executive lead with a limited up to six hostesses. The strength of each hostess will be even more important, so utilize dates and mini games on top of the regular operations to maximize their efficiency. Ugh. I thought this was going to be easy. I'm going to be like, yeah, I did it in Yakuza Zero. I breezed right some. Well, I didn't breeze right through it, but I did really good. Nope, nope. They, 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 they gave me a wrinkle. Yes, the customers are bigwigs and exists with an eye for quality who expect nothing less than superior service. Fuck! We're doomed. The champion is- Ah, you'll be fine. The champion is called Kamurocho Divine Queen, so the place is called Divine Queen and it's in Kamurocho. Hey, let's go to Kamurocho and burn it down! Wait, no, that's Yakuza tactics. That would be aggressive tactics, cat! Don't do that! 
Their number one cha girl is. Gonna knit downstairs and get myself some food. Get me a food. No. Meanie. It's Shoko Chan. Yeah. Impeccable technique and flawless smile have earned her the name the perfect queen. Oh god, she's gonna suffer some, some massive burnout. She's that perfect, huh? Nobody's ever seen her drop her smile, make a mistake, or have an issue with a customer. She's a robot. Oh, she has burnt out issues. She's a consummate professional. She must have some weakness, right? Yeah, her weakness is uh, if you find that battery charger in the back of her space of her spine, pull it out. Not I know of. Not even a fake account on the forum I could lurk on could get the information. Girl, you are lurking on forums like I lurk on... Let's not talk. This about Shoko? Akachan, yeah, we were just wondering if she had any weaknesses. Uh, I ain't no snitch, but if I had to say, she's kind of robotic. Ah, she is GLaDOS. Good to know. What do you mean? Like, any girl with a smile all day isn't actually smiling on the inside, you know? She's got her shields up. Ah, she's me. Kinda. She's hiding herself, then. Like a soft-boiled egg. She looks flawless, but one crack, and she will turn into mush. Koyuki? I am impressed and concerned. Am I still on Bluetooth? Most likely, yes. Koyuki-chan. You say the darndest things. Yeah, she do. I want to see the real Shoko, the one who smiles from the heart. Shoko, the perfect queen. Okay, so we have plans. What are the plans? I don't know yet, but we have plans. Oh! Oh, here she is. Okay, so Brobot, if you're in the stream, does that woman not look like Kristen Shaw? We need a better angle of her, but does she not kind of look like her? We need a better angle. Thanks for coming, Shoko. I take it you've heard the news. Yes, I heard you sprung a trap on the foreshine. I'm doing robots for them. Indeed. It's not that I don't trust you, but after Kana and Akia, any further losses would affect the group adversely. So I've ensured the definitive win for us. You don't hold my taking you don't hold my taking such measures against me, do you? No. I failing isn't an option. Then you are done with what I've had that what then you've done what had to have been done. Girl, you are more robotic than me. Exactly. They can tout themselves as a club with bonds or such tripe, but it means nothing without the manpower. We got plenty of manpower. His name's Kiryu. This match is decided before it happens, but they will struggle like drowning racks. Strike the final blow, would you? Very well, sir. <laughs> Good. It's dubious at best because we're not at the... F you don't see her face. Her face kind of looks like Kirsten Shawl, and it's annoying me. A pleasure, as always. Come on, get us a good face of the Kirsten Shawl, who I think looks like Kirsten Shawl. Dubious at best, you may say, but I see it. You're sure pairing her with a scheme like this won't hurt her pride? She knows what's at stake, and she's a true professional. She would never let her emotions get the better of her. She could be f Never mind. Right, Yoda-san? I think you've thought of the right of it. Hmm. I suppose. We'll see. God, that girl has such big old eyes. No complaints, but dang. Dot, dot, dot. She's not happy with this. Okay. Time to plan. All right, girls. Let's talk. Well, yes, but we, we're going to do a makeover. Makeover! The fun thing that girls get to do. Yas! Oh, I feel dirty saying that. Uh, don't warn me about Kiwami 2. For the love of God, I play... <laughs> Refresh. Okay. I need the SS makeover. Thank you. For Akia. All right. Makeover time. Yas, queen. Oh, God. We have girls having days off. All right. Hello. What is late 2022? 
It just says late 2022. So it doesn't say like release or announcement. It just says it released. What the fuck? They can't do it that early. Hang on a second. I need to look something up. Also, it's been three years since the last gen. It's still concerning! Not arguing the point, but still. We need some good earrings. What's some good earrings? Yes! Listen, I'm giving girls makeovers. I'm making them pretty. Or making them look like a complete mess. Both options are viable. Okay. Okay. Ooh, new dresses! New dresses, everyone! I got nothing against this hair, but come on, we can do better. Oh god, no, not that color. Girls, I don't want to cover the girls. Ugh, I hate this color. the only thing that actually looks good on her. Damn. Don't mind me just doing some makeup. Take the glasses off for a second so I can actually do your eye makeup and make it look decent. No clue what I'm doing.
why would pink... I can't believe I'm saying it. The natural look looks better. gonna have to use this hair then it improves your elegance okay and done makeovers done yes okay let's talk to the girls tell them they're pretty girls you're pretty you're very pretty you're very pretty to Kana States. These are Akia's dates. I want Kana's dates. Date number two. Okay. All right. Let's get to work. Dating time. Oh, so tired. Learn to love them. No. When the great Kashu war happens, you know whose side you'll be on. The winning side. Now kiss. Wait, no kissing. Pissing? What? What was that about pissing? Kissing, not pissing. All right. Why would people be pissing in this game? There is a mini game. I don't involved. fucking know. I was about to say there is a mini game in this game, which is about peeing. Oh fuck off, really? It's a stupid mini game, and I'm not being a part of it. I don't care. I've already established two mini games in this series. In this game, I will not be doing, no matter how much you pay me. The pissing one. And one that is super hyper creepy. Basically. You get to take photos of girls oh, and flirt okay. with them while they take pictures, and you can buy them outfits to wear. The thing is, the girls are real life flesh and blood human. What? They're flesh and blood human girls. Not, not like this, right? And you're talking to them and taking pictures, and it's really creepy. It's like this weird voyeuristic thing, and I'm like, I don't like it. It's like you're talking to these girls, getting doing an interview and taking pictures of them at the same time. And I'm like, okay, but why are they real and why are we buying outfits that are basically that one swimsuit that's loved to be used in certain types of pictures? Uh, big eater, right? Eh, uh, that's Japan for you. It's just like, I felt, I saw clips of it and pictures of it and I'm sitting here going, I'm massively uncomfortable, I cannot do this. And it's not a TOS thing, it's a discomfort for the streamer thing for me. So yeah, I'm not doing it. That's fair. Yeah, thank you for understanding. Also, I have only gotten one yogurt-covered raisin in this whole trail mix. How dare. How dare they. Planters, you dick. <laughs> I got a shit ton of peanuts, though! 
それだけカナが魅力的ってことだよな。I'm eating nuts while they're on their sushi date. This is classy. I've also started stacking the freeze dried pineapple cubes because they're my favorite part. <laughs> Fair enough. And I'm just stacking them and making a teeny tiny pyramid on my desk while we listen to girls talk.、Mm. I know, I'm supposed to be paying attention, but I'm not. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, look, a guide. How about playing it in a way that I can't play it? Straight. Ha 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 Mm -hmm. My mom, I think, is planning to do tuna noodle, and I'm like, no, please, not tuna、Ooh. noodle. For some reason, I've never enjoyed tuna noodle casserole. I think it's a texture thing. I can understand that. Texture is a major part in enjoyment. And, like, I love a green bean casserole because there's that little crunch, right? Tuna noodle doesn't really. I don't know. We don't really do a green bean casserole. If you ever come to my neck of the woods, I will invite. I will invite. I will, I will introduce you to green bean casserole. I mean, as much as I'd love to visit America's giant dangly penis. Hi! There's great things here in America's giant dangly penis, and I ain't just talking Disney World and me. <laughs> What? There's also Florida men. Yes. Well, and Florida women. Yes. I was gonna say Gatorland, but okay. Because trust me, just Googling Florida man is the high road to some amusing as fuck stories. As I'm sure you would know. Of course. Okay, what's the final thing I'm supposed to say? Koi man. Koi man? Who the fuck's Koi man? I know who Kiko man is. Oh, she's talking about going on dates outside of the hostess club and how to basically get the most money out of the food. <laughs> you girl, I like. I'm going on these dates so I can get a free meal. <laughs> I want food now, I say as I'm eating freeze dried peanut. Peanapple? Peanapple. What's a peanapple, cat? It's an apple from the peen. Ew! <laughs> you asked. Aha, there's a person. Prepared to get arrowed from a distance, bitch. Can you not arrow every person you come across? No. Damn it, missed. Wonder how much damage you can do in a sneak attack arrow to the knee. Missed again. Stop missing. It's the problem with doing it from a distance. Phrasing. Shush. Yes, I wish to go on a date with you, Koyoyuki. If I go on dates with you, I can make you girls stronger. And if I make your girls stronger, then you can crush the enemies! Someone is gonna be like, you really gotta stop being so psychotic when it comes to destroying the man. The man is abusive to the women! I must destroy him! If that's not a good enough reason to destroy this man, I don't know what will. I agree with you. <laughs> Oh, look, <clears throat> tiny trees. Did you burp? Yes. Okay. What's wrong? Is Why? That... I was just asking what that sound was. Oh, look, tiny trees. Look, 
Look, a teeny tiny plant man. He's coming out of the plant. He's coming out of the. What are the things that you put plants in? Pots. Yes, and is about to attack everyone. Oh no. Oh no. What will we do? Step on it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, plant man. I think we might have a small advantage. Just a small one. Just a bit. We're being serious now. What's troubling you? Sweetie, if you need me to buy you pads, I have no problems making Kiryu do it. Who is he? I'm going to kill him. Someone stole this girl's panties. We have to kill him. <laughs> That's rude. You don't steal a random girl's underpants. How old are you meant to meet women? Talk to them? Ew, that means talking to people. Communication? Yeah, that means communicating with people. I know what we'll do. I will- But wait. The deliberate theft of panties could be seen as communication. Ah! <laughs> no, it's not! It's considered weird and creepy. I'm giving you a woman's POV in this. Don't do that. <laughs> I give you a man's POV in this. Don't do that. <laughs> Welcome to dating advice from Tim and Cat. Uh, how may I help you? Some motherfucker who's built like Kiryu will find you <laughs> and punch you in the knob. Is knob still a word in your world? Yes, but it sounds weird coming from an American. Knob, 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 knob. <laughs> Aren't you jumping to conclusions? What? I mean, I'll jump to your conclusions. That sounded a lot less stupid in my head. Oh, she was doing a joke and apparently the panties that were stolen were her grandma's? We should still beat the crap out of a guy. You don't steal grandma panties. Hey, maybe the guy just likes it wrinkly. <laughs> you okay there, Chief? No. Do you want me to unsay what I just said? Is it possible? No. <laughs> so what to say? My powers can't do that. Neither can mine. Oh my god! She's like, my panties are hardly worth stealing! Sweetie, sweetie, that's a line I would say. That's a line I would say. What, that her panties aren't worth stealing? No, my panties aren't worth stealing. No one needs to steal my undies. I mean, how low and self-depreciating are you if you say your underwear is not worth stealing? How, how low in the, how low in the, uh, self-esteem are you if you think that? Actually, I'm pretty low in that. Yeah, okay. Holy shit! What? I just uh, took on a Forsworn Briar Heart and got my ass absolutely handed to me. Forsworn are the ones that have their hearts removed, right? I think so. Why don't you just sneak up behind them and take their heart? This time I think I'm gonna try that, but now I've got a stealth archer all these motherfuckers again. I still like the idea of stealing the guy's heart. I'm not objecting to that. <laughs> How badass is it? Just imagine, like, reverse Kali Ma. <laughs> the reverse Kali Ma attack. I mean, like, I'm like, is there a famous fighter in Mortal Kombat that rips a heart through the back? I can't remember. Etchy, sketchy, no touchy? That's an agency. Uh, yeah. I love how she just, just changes subject, like, instantly. She's like, we're talking about panties, bras. Etchy, sketchy, no touchy. Let's get a present for our boss. I know you could get Yuki for a present, a big ass bottle of gin. Or a collections of met a collection of messages? I'm sorry, what kind of gift is this? I know it's all hopeful and things, but you know, this isn't going to make me happy. I mean yes it will, but you know what I mean. Every kiss begins with K. Ah, <laughs> 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 
She wants to get pics of her boss crying and joy and happiness, but still, it's her boss crying. That's a little creepy. Can't we agree with that? A little bit. Okay, good. Sweetie, you're a creepy little gremlin. Oh my god. Uh, we defeated the one club we have with our girl, and now we have to go against the executive club, and the executive club basically is trying to put a limiter on us because they think we are quote-unquote cheating when we're not. I'm just that good. <sighs> also, we're going on dates with girls to make them more stronger than ever and be able to crush their men under their boot. And Tim's killing That's the, the kind of woman I want. And Tim's killing the Force War. Yep. Don't blame Skyrim. <coughs> Dovakin, bitches. Dovakin, Dovakin. She is a small cat. Meow, meow. I knock out your hat. I'm just imagining your dragonborn right now just sitting on a table and just like knocking something over at being mad at the Jarl. It's like. Attention to me! <laughs> Oh, so, shot through the tit, and that's uh, it. I have a question. Do you do what I, I did? Did you do? Did you do what I did when I became Yarl? When I became Thane of White Run? Was it White Run? The, the yeah, White Run. Steal everything within the Yarl's home that wasn't bolted down, and by steal I mean take because it was seen as taking, not stealing. And just take everything within the house that wasn't bolted down that I could, and then sell it to the freaking pawn shop down. The street. Everything that had actual resale value, yes. What? I stole all the potatoes. I made some really good stews with them. I can't be asked cooking. It barely gives you anything. I feel the same way. I like cooking, but I'm one of those people who just like, yes. Can Kiryu tell me that I'm absolutely irreplaceable? Please? Girl! <coughs> I heard a phone honk. I heard a car honk. I think that was my mom. Oh, goody. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. I'm sheep. I said beep, beep. I'm sheep. You're an attractive woman who means a great deal to me? Kiryu, why don't you ever say that to me? Also, too bad Kor's not here. Kor would get just fuming jealous. <laughs> I cannot wait. There are enemies nearby. Maybe that's the reason you can't sleep sometimes. Because enemies are near? Yes. Perfect. <coughs> you cannot eat. There are enemies nearby. Why? Someone could have poisoned your food. But I pulled it out of my pants. Exactly. That's how I got poisoned. By what? Your butt? Maybe. Stop poisoning things with your butt. No. Okay, you're lagging a lot. I'm sorry about that, by the way. Okay, Carols. We're doing great. We're doing wonderful. I believe in us. I believe in the heart of the cards. I believe in the power of... I believe in a thing called love. Feel the rhythm in my heart. Why am I walking in circles? Okay, so now it is time to go shopping again. I said a hip hop to the hip it to the hip hip hop, you know, don't stop. I'm oh, now slack. What? Sorry, uh, the Briar Heart that caused me problems before, I've basically safe spotted him. <laughs> ah, okay. I said a hip hop. To the I'm hip -hop. doing it the scummy way. You're safe. Ah, oh, the bastard's actually taken cover. Have you tried a fireball? That's always been my go to. Ah, oh, you tried. And you got an arrow on the back. Shot I know what had to deal with this. Quit shooting people in the ass. No. I cast Dramora Lord. You can't just cast Dramora Lord whenever you don't want to talk about your feelings, Tim. Dramora Lord. You can't do that, Tim. Dramora Lord. Tim, the Dramora Holy shit. Tim, the boy hearts are tough. Yes, Tim. They're very tough. Yeah, but this thing just took down one of my fucking Dramora lords. I'm about to fight the rich. I'm about to eat the reach. No, I don't want to come and face the Forsworn. Fuck off. You don't want to come on the Forsworn? 
I mean, that's I very... Do. I was about to say, that's very respectful of you. What did I get? I got a bronze plate. Ha. I got a key to you. I got a... I have a fluted pole, everyone. I have a fluted pole. What is a fluted pole? I do not know, but it is fluted and a pole. I think it's pretty obvious. But I don't know what it means by fluted. Well, it means it's fluted. Okay, what does fluted mean? It means when something has been fluted. I'm going <laughs> to murder you. In oh, please. You have any idea how often I hear that? I'm going to murder you in the bathroom. That's... I've had that at least five times. Ooh, an ebony bow. Yoink. Oh, look, an ebony bow, yoink. That's what you sound like. Okay, ow. Oh, God, more what nouveau I, reach? What are you what guys doing? What have I done to offend, madam? Who, me? Aside from exist. Who, me or someone in the game? You! I don't know, but that was violent even for me. This is a smidge. This is a smidge. Cat can get sassy when she can. She doesn't really. Want... Didn't notice. Uh, do I already have this one? Hello. What is this? What? What? what re, be kind. Rewind. This is the Millionaire League. I don't want the Millionaire League. I want the Executive League. Donka. We'll go for an Executive League then. What do you think I'm doing? Having a tea party with the Queen of England and her twenty corgis? Oh, I'd love that. With the Queen of England and the 20 Corgis, or just the 20 Corgis? Both. Queen okay. of England seems pretty chill. Okay, I need to be on Bichotter Boulevard, and I need to be facing that away. Aha! This coffee house is mine! Da da da. Da da da. Next, we have. Come gather round, people, wherever you roam. And times are changing. I gave I'll up. Oh, now. <laughs> Can you tell how I slightly gave up on that sentence? Why do I have Bob Dylan stuck in my brain? I'm blaming you. Not, 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 not you, Tim. I'm blaming this random NPC. Time to go shopping and partner with the France Ter- France Ter- Takoyaki? France Takoyaki. Yo, sure, why not? What makes taco what makes this Takoyaki from France? Sabaki. This is how you gain partners, cat. <laughs> In business. Oop, shiny thing. Shiny thing in the distance. Shiny thing in this. Get over here, shiny thing. They sing like a stone for the times they are a changing. Come eat a giant sandwich made out of ham. Actually, no turkey. No roast beef. Mm, never been a big fan of cold beef. It, uh, it could be a warm roast beef sandwich. We never said it had to be cold. We can be warm. If it's not made of sit, made for sits, why is it made out of warm? Explain to the felines. Come eat a giant cheese made out of cheese. All right, we have the pizzani, and then there's muyaki. And why is it all the way on the other side of the fucking map? Muyaki is all the way over there. Okay. And actually, do I need to eat? Ooh, my care. Oh, Kiryu, you're getting a little peckish. Let's let let's get you some food. How do you feel about crab, Tim? Mm. 
I can take it or leave it. Oh yeah, I need to up my yellow for a reason of secretness. Alright. Food has been eaten. Experience has been gained. Oh! Look at the little crabs in the crab tank! Hello little guys, how you doing? That sounds creepy, cat. Eh, just a little. Wait, you don't talk to your crabs? No. I just get special shampoo. It's not that I refuse to acknowledge your existence right now, but I do slightly refuse to acknowledge your existence right now. Okay, we gotta go all the way to West Santa Bode. Ow! 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 Why do I keep running into things? I don't know, why do you? Ow! Have you considered not running into things? No. It's the one joy I have in life, people. The one joy. Okay, Miyuki has been taken. And the last one is Cain, which is right beside Miyuki. Okay. And... Partnered. Everyone is partnered. Everyone is partnered with little old me. Everyone is partnered. And now we'll live the dream of kicking these guys' ass. Come on, dudes. Let's fight. Come on. Round one. Fight. Well, that was easy. I kicked these guys' ass. And I didn't even get hit. I didn't get hit once. It's like I'm a god or something. Bitch. Yeah, I swept the leg. Ooh, what's the word I get from this place? Uh, the word is bird. <clears throat> ah, word of power learned. Sand, slow time. Ah. Well, actually, that one's actually kind of fun to do. Yep. I murdered everyone. Good. Everyone's dead. Are you proud of me, mother? Now? Actually, how's my health? Ooh, I did get hit a little bit. We're gonna go to the we're gonna go to the place which sells a uh, fugu because we love ourselves. I don't. Fugu restaurant. I want to go in you. Ow. Oh yeah, this place serves all those little tiny chicken foods. Fuck. Did I butcher Japanese really badly there? Possibly. Yeah, you really gotta stop trying to speak Japanese. Although, 
Fun fact! Um, I was offered to do a thing where I do karaoke streams. Because Robot, if he's still in the audience, mentioned I have, I have potential and shit. And I go, fine, I'll do it out of funnies. And Core kept joking I should sing Baka Matai from Yakuza. <laughs> because, you know, Yakuza. And I'm known for that. But I'm sitting here going, does anyone really want to watch me butcher Japanese? Does anyone really want to watch that? Don't answer that question, audience. Well, I can't speak for the audience, at least not until the machine is finished. What machine? Never you mind. I thought we weren't- I thought you didn't build machines anymore. I don't know where I was going with this. It's alright, neither do I. <laughs> the machine! I'm like, what? My brain was like, what freaky sex object is he making now? I don't know why the I thought- Nothing freaky and sexy, thank you. Oh, it's not freaky and sexy for once. No. God. It's almost like you think I'm just some one-note character. Well, you, everyone thinks I'm some one-note character. Well, yeah, is there anything more to you than Yakuza? Yes, there's a lot to me than Yakuza! Is there? Yes, actually. Very much so. <laughs> I'm a very huge Skyrim fan, as well as Mass Effect. I played Final I... Fantasy XV, and no one was there to watch that, because that was when I was doing my early streaming. It does put me in mind of it's, um, the line, You don't know who you're fucking with. Who? No one. But you didn't know that. That's the point. <laughs> okay, girls. It's time to do some more freaking things. Come on. We're going to do some club work. And there's some whiskey. Whiskey? Where? Mm. Mm. Okay, so. We have the executive uh, but line. I've, what? Sorry. What were you going to say? I was just going to say I've got uh, some Jack Daniels Tennessee honey. And you didn't bring me any! You're kind of far away. You can try. Okay, a lot of girls are not doing well, and I can only have six girls. <sighs> okay, so remove you and remove you. Because it says, in order to do this league, you have to have, you can only have six girls. I'm like, why do you torture me? The mood would be better for this girl. Anyone else have a very good mood that can... Okay, there we go. Uh... Okay, this should work. In theory, this should work. Why are you 100 yards staring? Survivor, you know where to go. Oh, we're gonna get Survivor, Survivor in here? Maybe. I'm just wondering what the 100 yard stairs about. <gasps> oh, that's something I could do. What? Um, I've got the um, Shigorath quest to do. Oh yes, go drinking. Woo, drinking! No, that's the um, one of the other ones. Oh uh, shit! Shigorath is, Shigorath oh. is the one with the Wabajack. Oh yes. Oh shit! Survivor had a panic attack. Dude, you all right? Oh shit! My um. D d uh, you don't know how to help. I you don't know what to say. I'm very bad at this, but I'm here for you, my dude. Okay, is everything okay? Oh, I was having a while. At okay, they're okay. Oh, oh dear. That's yeah. I've had panic attacks at the grocery store. Not recommended, by the way. Not recommend. Would anyone recommend it? A panic attack at the grocery store? No. I had a panic attack at an IHOP once. We don't talk about that one. We don't talk about IHOP. <laughs> no, IHOP is Sorry. Pretty... Okay, you just need to chill. Okay, uh, think of the ocean. Think of ice. Ice, ice, baby. I mean, he said he needs to chill. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, your mental health is more important right now, so improve your mental health. Also, I gave the girl that we won a makeover. She looks a whole lot better now. And by a whole much lot better, she still looks like a party girl. I kept her in her classic golds, because it actually looks good on her. Cross the minute mark, and fever. Fever. 
Mm-hmm. Let's see, what am I gonna go do now? Have you- did you do the, uh, the Sun Green Rose one? Uh, I need to go find him. Oh, that won't be hard. Where did you turn level 20? Pass. I'm just gonna go investigate all the taverns. Oh. <laughs> definitely do not recommend, especially when it's full of Sunday churchgoers. Oh, definitely. Def That's a big oof, my chief. Especially if you live in the more conservative state. <laughs> Okay, gracious send off for you. Your guest's move has improved. You're slightly more word of mouth, and we're gonna keep going. Come on, do the party train. Do the party train. Okay, because of the immersive, like, encounters I have on, whenever I come into certain taverns, there's always people fighting. Why? Because. It basically adds a lot more random encounters to the game. That's great. It's great. I will give you a... I'm going to praise the girl because she deserves a health boost. Come on. Come on. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get down tonight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're making money. That's a good sign, right? I mean, this isn't even the actual fight competition thing. I'm just practicing. Right, so he's not in there. Let's try White Run. I was about to say, check every major city that has a bar. Yeah, it'll basically be like the whole capitals he turns up in, isn't it? Yep. Girl needs an ashtray. Gotcha. Okay, there's. Wait, what? A girl needed an ashtray. Vampires. The masquerade. Not that kind of vampire. Um. Ooh, the sexy vampire from from Bram Stoker's Dracula? Oh wait, it wasn't that sexy. Tell me when there's yeah, actual Bram Stoker's Dracula. Va no, no, uh, no. Dracula is not that sexy. No, no, no. Dude needs a fucking glass of cold milk. Gotcha. I don't know. What do people drink at hostess clubs? I see champagne, but I also see milk. No, you don't. Extend the session! Session extended! Girls making money! Number 15, Burger King Foot Lettuce. Oh god, that is a dragon! So basically, I've had the double whammy of both a dragon attack and a vampire attack at the same time. Now we just need the werewolves and it'll be a whole party. Go, oh, man, for an axe, let's go! How many Storm Atronax do you have? It's an Elder Dragon, too. Oh, fuck me, running. Oh, gee. The one thing I absolutely love about Storm Atronax, they are unerringly accurate. Session extended! Woo, party! We're gonna party like it's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. Mm -mm 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 Oop! Oh, oil Baron in the house! You giant scaly pussy! And all the Oil Baron! I have to concentrate on this! Ah, my finger. Down he goes. And yet, somehow, Bram Stoker's Dracula started the sexy vampire thing, allegedly. Yeah, because he was, he acted sexy, but by all physical descriptions, he was not very sexy. Oh, goody! We're really high up in there. All right. All right. Okay, girls, level up, level up, level up, up, up. Bring it in, bring it in. Good job, bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> Having fun, huh? Yes, I am. I'm carrying too much to be able to run. Up your oh, carry no. Way. It's almost like I'm literally not that far from my house, so I can just dump all the extra stuff in a in a chest. Right, better wait an hour first, cause otherwise all my Atronax will try and walk in with me. Okay, also now we go and check. We're going to be doing the third date of this it's... lovely lady. Um, I will say, Savaya, Bram Stoker's Dracula is an unusual read. You know what else is an unusual read? Mm? Reading something upside down. Shush. 
<laughs> By which I mean, it does not read like a traditional novel. No, it doesn't. It's a massive slow... It's a massive slow burn. It it's articles uh, and it's, journals and all that jazz. Yeah. And that's why you can't inter you can't do Bram Stoker's Dracula in a movie form because Well you can, it's just really weird to do. Yeah. I remember um, I, I remember OSP was like, I was going to try to do it thematically just like that th thematically just like the book. And then I discovered It was three hours it was long. long. <laughs> no, it was th I think over thirty minutes long or something like that. <coughs> Also, if you think about it, in Bram Stoker's Dracula, the lead is definitely dumbass protagonist who doesn't take the hint that there might be danger in the well. He suddenly, what's the line? He suddenly figures out he's in a gothic horror novel. Yeah, you would think all the, <laughs> you would think with all the freaking crucifix he keeps getting given. Yep. Oh look, the plant guy's back. Hi, plant guy. I will destroy you all and eat your feces. Feces? Faces. Oh, sorry. We're having a serious talk right now, and we're talking about evil plant people, and Bram Stoker's Dracula, and titties. Well, I was painted a fairly good summary of the book, but yeah, basically, uh, this is equally coming from the perspective of someone who had to study it as well back when I was at school. I read it. Off your own back, or...? Uh, no, my class was like, uh, no, when I was in middle school I read it. Also in middle school, I read Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and the teacher actually fucking got mad that I brought my own copy. Why? I don't know. And then I later found out, oh, because it was the more appropriate for si more appropriate for se sixth graders version. I don't know. I don't know why they got mad that I brought my own copy. Your school system's fucking weird. Weird. I know. You would think because I brought my own copy, I would be like, you have one less book to worry about. That was what. Yeah. My, yeah, because like I even brought my own copy when I was in high school, a senior. I brought my own copy of Fra Frankenstein. Ah. Uh, I pepper. brought my own copy of Dracula because my parents had one. Yeah. Uh, why don't you ask her? Uh, there's some very important shit happening, but we're not. T we're talking about more important things. It's the one. It's also one of the few things that I'm always like really bothered about when it comes to um. Uh, thingy Frankenstein. Yeah. Like the monster yeah. is, you know, tall, apparently slightly beautiful, very and you know, fairly articulate once he gets some learning in him. Yeah, <laughs> he's very eerily handsome is a good way to describe him. He's, you know, you've ever seen someone that's so beautiful, you're just like, they're not of this planet, or like, they're so yeah. beautiful, it's off, or they're so handsome, it's off. Yeah, I did read the original Frankenstein, and I do agree it's less mad scientist, the more angry comics drop out. He ain't wrong. <laughs> Dr. Jekyll is a much better example of the mad scientist archetype. Oh, yeah. Because A, he writes down his results. B, and he B, actually... <laughs> he experiments on himself because he's not a coward. And C, a bigger one, he actually has a fucking doctorate, unlike Frankenstein. He doesn't have he a doctorate. He was trying to get his. Yeah, and he failed. Epically. Because he dropped out of school, because he went, Oh no, I fucked up, it's broken. Yeah, because you abandoned a fucking infant who wasn't right because you got the eye color wrong. Oh. I'll be back. And then there's also the whole thing with Frankenstein where it's like, Oh no, what if the two monsters start reproducing? You know, there's a- f For a guy who has a medal who was trying to get a medical degree, you would think that would be like the first lesson you would learn. Oh yeah. <laughs> but that's the other one. Also, white bony thing stays inside body. Heart pumping good. <laughs> Air and lungs also good. <laughs> we're we're adults here, aren't we? You've yep. really matured. Okay, we you've really matured. But still, like. He's a, like, one of the first things you learn is, like, anatomy and stuff. Why, he, he, if he was the great si brain he is, he would know to, you know, you can just do a couple of little thingy mabobbers and you can make the female not make babies. Although, if you also think about it, it's a corpse and I don't think she can make babies anymore. It's some fiction. Cut him a little slack. I know, I know. And ha see how, notice how I'm not making fun of Mary Shelley who wrote it. I'm making fun of the character himself and I think that's the point. I hope that's the point. 
It equally wants to remember the time that this was written. We didn't fully understand science. Yeah. Ah, uh, the enlightened world we live in. Yeah. Also remember, Mary Shelley, mother of science fiction. Predates any of you assholes who keep saying this person is the, is the creator of science. And, she, and you will never be more goth than her either. She fucked on her mother's, lost her virginity on her mother's grave. You can never be more goth than Mary Shelley. Oh, there's someone who took a. So I go. Someone actually has done the most goth. Of, had done a really great. Uh, had a humble brag once, going, "I stole moss off of Mary Shelley's house." Jesus. She she had a little you know those little teeny tiny jars that you can have the little teeny tiny bits of moss in? Yep. She holds up the little jar and she goes, This is from Mary Shelley's house. Nice. I'm sitting here going, I can't believe it. I'm envious of you. <laughs> I'm envious he, of this woman having a little bit of moss. There is a every year I think at least twice a year is actually there is a goth fest in England. Would yes. you like to know where it is held? Uh, I think I might know, but please tell me. Whitby. Where's Whit? Oh yeah, the Whitby Goth Festival. I remember someone talking. I'll about always it. known as where Dracula landed. <laughs> I love this. I love that. I love that. Is it wrong? I love that. No, that's awesome. I want to go to one of those, but then I'm sitting here going, it costs money, cat, to go to England, and also it costs money to have good goth fashion. It uh, does, and it does. And I'm. I, I remember my ex- It costs less if you have someone to stay with, though. Yeah. No, I remember when my ex was like, wait, you do- go you're goth. Yes. And he looks at- and he saw pictures of me, he's like, you don't look goth. Do you know how much it costs to be goth all the time? And also, it's Florida, do you know how fucking hot- it Special occasions, goth. Yeah, I, I, I joke saying it's a lazy goth. How is it lazy? I'm wearing black and I'm having a very dark attitude, don't mess with me. As I look at my skull collection, which is lacking. I need more skulls. First one to donate me a raven skull wins. It has to be ethically resourced. Ethically. That's the problem when you're trying to find skulls nowadays. Some people don't ethically do it. I know. It's, it hurts. Although, question. Does it count as ethical collection if by chance you happen to work at a place where you have to clean pools and you found a dead possum and you just did the thing? Is that ethical? Like, you didn't kill the possum, you just found the dead possum in the pool and you just turned it into a skeleton. Is that ethical? Am I thinking too much? Should I stop thinking? I'll stop thinking. Sapphire, help me stop thinking. Ah, oh, that was easy. Kiryu-chan, you're gonna sooner- I, I think I know the point of these dating segments is to help the very lonely man nerds out there. So, me. You. Yeah, so you enjoying this? I'm lonely. I'm man, and I am nerd. <laughs> uh, I feel the same way. Kiryu, can you stop flirting with these girls? They're gonna think you love them, have a weird shrine dedicated to you in their bed- in, in the dressing room, which you're not allowed in. And they're gonna try to steal bits of your hair. Do you want to deal with that? Do you? Okay, that sounds very specific. I'm thinking of Helga G. Pataki right now. I thought you were just gonna say I'm thinking of me right now. No, I'm not that crazy, actually. As much really? You sure about that? Very positive, actually. The concept of making a shrine dedicated to a fictional character is a little weird for me. Also, there's no room in my room for that. This is for the lonely men out there. Are you enjoying this, lonely men? You get to flirt with a woman while I control the responses, and I get to talk over and talk about Mary Shelley Frankenstein getting laid on top of a grave, on top of her mother's grave. That's not weird. All right. So what's next? Date three, is there a fourth date? There is not a fourth date. Oh no, I have to do karaoke? <laughs> All right, who's ready to see me do karaoke and fail? Hi. 
I want to go karaoke. Uh, also, Victor Frankenstein was a jerk of the highest caliber. Oh, yeah, he basically abandoned a newborn infant, if you think about it. Hi. Oh, yeah, panties. Remember, kids, panties. I will be sure to remember that. What, panties? Yes. Underpants. Underpants. Underpants don't go on your head. That's who? <laughs> That's a line from Chobits. Wait, we're going to war? I like war. Oh yeah, and his friends, and his family, and his dog. And basically refuse to admit that he done fucked up. Okay, so we are at Koyuki substory. Uh... Also, at worst, it's like, yes, I gave this creature life. Cool. Where do we find it? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to lure the thief with a panty snare? Panty snare? I just imagined a snare drum that instead of the tr the traditional drum skin, it's just panties. Like a pair of panties just like, wah, boom. <laughs> That's not a snare, is it? <laughs> That's not no, the <laughs> a snare is like the thing that you catch people's ankles with. Oh, that never worked when I try to do it? So basically, you, basically, you have a rope tied to the tree. Uh -huh. And then when a person puts their foot in the coil of the rope, you it basically trips and it leaves them dangling by their ankle. It never works. Operation Panty Bait. <coughs> Koyuki, I don't think that any thief in his right mind would steal underwear off a bench. Hear you? I'm glad you have that level of faith in humanity, but I don't. Tim, do you think someone would be stupid enough to steal a pair of panties off of a bench? Yes. We are more realistic in the concept of humanity than you are, Kiryu. <laughs> so we're setting up a box track with a pair of panties as a bay while hiding around the corner with a pole line? Yes. <laughs> Even Survivor agrees with me. <coughs> it's not exactly the natural environment for panties, you know. I'm sorry, Kiryu, what is the natural environment of panties? Don't worry about that. I got a fresh pair that the thief would find irresistible. Okay, okay. Panty thief. Okay, if this guy is a panty thief. Okay, I'm going to go... The man is not going to care for a pair of clean drawers. All I'm saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, we know what we mean. Okay. What are those? Tim? Mm -hmm. Tim? Tim, look at the screen. Oh my god. What is with the pedal bear panties? I hate it. Uh, they're, yeah, they're very adorable for a little kid. You are a hopefully 20. Yeah, you're 20. You admit you're 20. Co-workers and they had the day for drinks and to talk about, about <coughs> uh-huh, talk by indoor, pool, indoor pools. Are you saying that the panties are cute enough? Well, I mean, we will attract a certain type of person if we use those very cute panties. Couldn't you have gone to like Victoria's Secret or something? Okay, maybe not Victoria's Secret. They're expensive, but you know what I mean. Cure you! There are questions we do not ask. That is one of them. Does that mean you really wear panties like this? Oh. Oh, you admit you don't. Okay, sweetie, darling. You see the problem, right? Not sure about that, but at least not to argue. The odds are in our favor here. Girl, 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 girl. You just admitted yourself you don't wear panties like that. Therefore, the panty thief who allegedly stole your panties, so even though you said they're your grandmother's, wouldn't steal panties like those unless they're on a certain type of list. All I'm saying. And now, dramatic French music. Shh. Thief approaches Kirasan. What, really? Uh, 
I have so many questions. Why? Pretty suspicious. He picked the panties up, Kiro-san. What do we do? What do we do, audience? We wait and see. For him. We will wait and see. Yeah. According to the guide, we wait and see. Hi. I love how gently they're treating these underwear. They're like, like treating it like a sacred item. I'm like sitting here going, no, we, we do the finger pinchy thing. Beautiful. Thank you. I rate that burp a six. Russian judge gives you three. What? Russian job, judge always gives me three, unless I do a belch via vodka. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I low-key want that guy- this guy's shirt. I low-key want this man's shirt. Oh, and, Jesus, that is- Oh, my eyeballs. But I low-key want the shirt. But, like, different colors, but I want the Skelly shirt. When we left, we all assumed he took them while she wasn't looking. So, yeah, we have full faith that people are awful. Yep, Survivor. I agree. I do look- <gasps> he picked up the panties! What do we do? Again! Why are they all so delicate with these panties? That's my question! Okay, so the real panty thief is a guy in a suit. Everyone, take notes. The real panty thief is a guy in a suit. Yeah. Again, oh, sacred bear panties. Oh, sacred bear panties. I feel weird. No one clip that, please. Thank you. Anyway. No one clip that. No one clip that. I didn't really expect to work out as well as it did. Why are there so... Why... Why did the two guys touch them in general? Maybe they were looking for a, a pretty owner of a, like, what, what's the tags that they use? Name tag, yes. Pretty suspicious. Oh, okay, see, this guy's not, I take that back. I was going to say, this guy's not grabbing the panties. Oh, sacred panties. Wait and see. Yeah. Gah. We will just wait and see until we find the guy who actually steals the panties. We can't just think that a weird random man who wears welly boots is evil. Name an evil man that wears welly, welly boots. You can't. Wait. Maybe. I don't know. Another guy. How many times are people going to lift up these panties like sacred underwear? Like a sacred ar garment. <laughs> Not before. Exactly. We have to witness the crime before we beat the crap out of him. In suit. Yes. Pretty suspicious. Wait and see. Mm hmm. If he sniffs them, I'm going to murder him. That man That's is wearing. That man is wearing white socks with black shoes. I don't know how to feel. Brown shoes. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel disgusted. Wait and see. Yeah. Ah. He's staring at the panties, lo panties longingly. Oh! Ah! No! Gross! 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 No! 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 Oh, what the hell? Please stop. Feelings about what just happened. Ugh, oh, I've got to stop Boy. this. Okay, that's it. That's not something you do in public, panty thief. What do you mean? He must be the panty thief causing the commotion in town. What? No, these panties just flew into my face. It was the wind. Thank you, Survivor. A, a body has business? been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! No, you got it wrong. H how did these panties end up in my hand? Do you really, really want to mess? Wait, isn't that Koyuki-chan? What's she doing here? Oh! <gasps> Oh no! It's him! You know this guy? 
Yeah, he's a Forshine customer. Oh, he is now. You remembered me? What an honor. Okay. Can someone please brought can someone please call Majima and give me ask him to bring me his baseball bat? Preferably the one that shoots out acid. That's not an actual canon thing. We've made that up. Or the one with spikes on it. Ugh, how do peanuts make me gassy? Uh. Honestly, I'm shocked you fell for this. I find it a little suspicious, but the siren song of these pa- Ugh! Ugh! Ugh. No. No, no. No. Men don't act like this. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Men don't act like this. Women don't act like this. Non-binary people do not act like this. Did I cover it all? Weird evil space aliens from the planet Glugluck don't act like this. <laughs> we need the FBI open up alert. I don't have that one because I don't see a purpose for it. Might as everyone using it to spam it on me when I get lusty for Majima. Okay. No, besides that, we've got the bonk. Don't use it. Nope. Okay, fine. You can use it. <coughs> I mean, to be fair, I can't right now because... You're in the middle of Skyrim, I know. Yeah. Just beating the shit out of him. Are you complaining about what I'm doing? No. Come on, buddy. I'm about to use chopsticks on you! Oh! Oh! Okay, so I learned a new way to use chopsticks. Must find more things to grab and use on him. Must find more things to grab and use on him. Yoink! A pal! Here's your sign! Don't do that! Yeah. Spare my life. No. Unless you want a repeat of this, you better not get. You better not do shit. Just give me. Gave back the panties you stole. Okay. You jerk. See, look at poor granny's panties like that. Wait, what? I've made a very you you made an old lady very sad about her underwear, all I'm saying. Oh my god. Wait, that's your grandma? You're not into mature Ugh. No surrender. Uh. <laughs> Does it mean you'll have more faith in me? Yeah, I suppose I will. So, did we learn anything, kids? Koyuki. Unscale no! Panties? No! No kissing! No! Kiryu! No! Uh. Leave room for Jesus! Nobody... Really? Well, Jesus in this case is core. Also, Kiryu, she's 20. You're 38. No. <laughs> Kiryu, double no. Thro wait, wait, wait. So should I face plant the panties, throw the panties, or stash the panties? All options are uh, each. All options are funny, no matter what. Throw. Throwing. Because otherwise, it makes carry you a perv. Yep. It's hard to imagine how people really get into things like this. Yeet! Damn, carry you. That was a really good throw. Um, carry son, you okay? Ah! Oh, she fell on her ass. Kiryu, do not look! Do not look! Kiryu! Kiryu. Did you just see her panties, Kiryu? 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 Kiyuki, those 
Those panties, do you really wear? Curious how you're locked! Whoa. What a pervert! Edgy, sketchy, no touchy! Hey, you son, ba 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 ka Cute to you. She is much younger than you. Date me instead. What? Someone bonk her. No! I will be bonk free in the zone. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Operation Panty Bait. Well, let's see what stats I can improve. I hate you, Survivor. You put me in the ball. Go to horny jail. <laughs> see, this is why I got rid of the jail option and just have this now as an option, and I hate it. Your life choice. I have a life choice in this? Yes. Are we sure about that? Oh, uh, okay. All right, kids. I have to go to the bathroom again. So ah, great. That means you're leaving them with me. Survive. <laughs> it is 1500. I really should up the freaking uh, crystal punishment again. Anyway, be right back, y'all. Uh, uh, that nerd, you are in charge. Please don't touch the Bad orb. Idea. Don't touch the orb. I'm still stuck in the orb, I see. Yep. Are you touching it? Touch. <sighs> I have no idea what you mean, touch. Stop touching it. We don't know where no. this orb comes from. <coughs> oh, dear. Oh, okay. You okay there, Chief? Asthma's a bitch. <sighs> anyway. You're just gonna keep touching this orb, aren't you? Touch. You know, touching your orbs for too long can cause you to go blind. It's not convincing you at all, is it? Okay, so... Oh! I still need to buy more restaurants. It's like a glass case of emotion. Yes, it is. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, hold on. Breaking the law. Breaking the shoes. Why are we breaking shoes, cat? Uh, no, we don't want part. We want partnerships. Part oh, I should probably plug in my headset. Plug in your headset. B Lick it. Go <clears throat> tell you're feeling better, Survivor. Yeah, Survivor. I hope you're feeling good. Oh God, I have a lot more places to go. Ugh. Good. Petting the dog always helps. You know what also helps? Petting the cat. Not me. Bonk. Uh, I need to go up there. Which actually is very useful because I need to go to the pawn shop anyway. I gotta go to the pawn shop and pawn off some shit. Mostly my massive, massive collection of prawns. Sinks? Sinks? I said things. Yes. I'm free! We did it, kids. We did it together. Why did you suddenly turn into Joey Wheeler from Yu-Gi-Oh? I was the scout from Team Fortress 2. You are... You have... You have... No taste. Both are good options, to be fair. Yeah. Let's see, there's a Smile Burger, and the pawn shop is right here. Let me in! I miss when the pawn shop had the giant moose head. I guess someone bought the giant moose head, and it makes me sad now. Yeah, 
And sell these. Inventory. All right. I now have the essence of flattening throw. I can now throw people. I don't know why I would want to throw people, but I can throw people now, people. Fear me. I will murder all of you. Please don't murder me. Okay, fine. I won't murder you. What do you have that I can buy? On one hand, animal cruelty. On the other hand, to get up the moose head, it requires to fight fighting the moose. Have you ever fought a moose? No, nor do I want to. You don't want to fight a moose? Bitch, have you seen the size of a full-grown moose? Yes. <laughs> Whose natural predator then... is the killer whale? You know who else is the natural is a natural predator to moose? Not man. Who? Not man, I can tell you that much. Okay, we're about to fight a bunch of jerks. Delinquents are going to learn the concept of pain. That's it. That's it. Grab one of you. Yeet! Rapid fire sneeze. I shotgun sneeze, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sayama wants underwear and beer. No one cares about Sayama right now. I, I, <laughs> I, I fear no man, but that, that thing, thing shows picture of moose. <laughs> it scares me. <laughs> oh, that sneeze actually hurt a little. I think I might have pulled something. Not the first time I've ever pulled something while sneezing. I've pulled something while coughing. Well, I've done that one too. Alrighty. Graceful Spice, now under my domain. Come here, bitches! You gonna fight me, horse? Is that rude? Okay, fine. You're gonna fight me, you assholes? Better. Yes. What if I called them ignorant sluts? And the insult isn't the slut part, it's the ignorance. Are they sluts? I mean... Look at... I, I mean... I was gonna say look at them? They look like they've been in an orgy together? But we don't know. I shake my head at you. Don't shake your head at me! I shake my head at you. Do you bite your thumb, sir? No, I shake my head at you. Okay, so, we've got that place, and now we get the Kabuki Theater, because who doesn't want to, you know, associate with a hostess club as a Kabuki Theater, actually. <laughs> Date nights. Never mind. Oh, yeah. And the last one's also down the street. Okay. Come here. Thank you. Fugata, and that's the last one in this one. Then last, then is like the Millionaire League, which is a bitch. All right, we've partnered. Woo, we can do this. I believe in the thing called love. I believe in a thing called love. Feel the rhythm of my heart. All that shit. You okay there, Chief? No, I'm not. I'm, when I get bored, I start, when I, well, not bored. When I start doing random things and not thinking about it, I start th singing. I don't know why, I just like to sing. Oh, I just crushed that guy's pelvis. I crushed a man's pelvis. And not in the sexy way. 
I... Ow! I hurt him. Should I feel sad that I hurt him? I don't hear a no. Okay. All of that is done. Now we go down, down, in an early around. No sugar, we're going down swinging. I'll be your number one with a bullet. A loaded gun complex, cock it and pull it. Mm, actually, before we go down, let's go to... Let's go back up. I'm going to go get some food. My character needs food. Come on, Kiru-chan. We're going to go eat our weight and eat our weight in sushi. Come on. Come on. We're going to eat our weight in crab. Shell is not included. No, I don't want the... Actually, no, I'll take the crab nabe. And that one, and that one, and that one, and I'm full. God, crab dishes really fill you up. Hopefully it won't leave you feeling too crabby. And... You know, I regret asking my... when I, I, I just... I'm, I'm, I'm ignoring you. I'm ignoring you. I'm ignoring you. I'm angry at you. Let's be more accurate to this. I'm angry at you. Well, not angry. Disappointed. And boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Let's spend the night together from now until forever. Boom, 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 boom. I wanna go boom boom. Let's spend the night together. Uh, I love the Venga boys. Hmm. Let's spend the night together, together in my room. Oh, this is what I want to do. Oh, oh, let's have some fun. You are having fun, aren't you? <laughs> oh, 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 one and one, just me and you. Oh, oh, boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Let's spend the night together. Why does that song, why does that song make me feel better? Explain. Mm -hmm. I'm in a crabby mood. Just play the Vega Boys. <laughs> Who'd I piss off? Ah, oh, the nouveau riche. I pissed off the nouveau riche. Oh no! What a shame. I'm just gonna just pick this up, and there. That was easier than it needed to be. Thanks, buddy, for your money. Okay, girls, I'm back from the store. I got us some cheese. Someone might want some cheese. <coughs> Les, we are going to open the club. We can only have six girls, and we're going to open the club. I believe in you. Well, we're just opening the club to make money so we can be seen, deemed as a threat and also to level up the girls. Because no offense, Akita needs a lot of leveling up. No offense, Akita, but you're you're very lacking in the lacking in the uh, in the yes. You're lacking in the yes. I had something to go for this, but my brain broke. Okay, shush. I didn't say a fucking word. I have a plushie that basically is a natural meth face, so I really need to move it from my desk so I can stop thinking it's judging me. All right. <coughs> Actually. You okay, buddy? 
Do you need That's a... That's a dragon. Is it a nice dragon? Nope. Is it a pretty dragon? No. Okay. It's an elder dragon. Like a sexy elder dragon? Listen. I don't know where I'm going with this bit. You have to accept I'm doing this bit. I don't wanna. Wow, no one really, really... I, I need to get Akia up. Akia is my new platinum girl, and she's only level 6, and I want her to get up there so she can be able to take on the others. So this is like Pokemon training, y'all. <laughs> what? If the Pokemon were hooers. They're not whores! They are skilled women with... I said hooers! Hooers? It's basically a silly way of saying whores. They're not hewers either. They are wonderful, classy ladies who know what they have and can just basically milk the money out of them. I have no respect for them. I have no respect. I have no disrespect for them. We need more. Also, it's a way to get our fan base up, which is really... If our fan base is really, really high when we go up against the other other guys, it really helps out with the um, getting customers in, which will make more money. Ice for you. Anyway... Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Uh, lady needs a new glass. Here you go, madam. Here's whiskey sour. I don't know. What do girls drink? Actually, to be honest, the girls should be just drinking non-alcoholic beverages, because, you know, don't want to be drunk on the job. Fever time! Come on! We give an expensive gift because word of mouth makes girls base makes more people come to our place so we can make more money and make the money and make the suffering. We have to make money. It's the part it's part of the life, Nasagonya bitch. You need a drink. There you go, madam. Here you go. It's a lovely Shirley Temple. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ice for you. Here you go. Yes, yes, yes. Cute cutscene. Check for you, mister. We give the girl a reward because she fucking deserves it after all that hard work she did, and it also redoes your health, so I can basically use you again when the girl would freaking. Ow, my. Back! <coughs> Everything's fine. I'm not hurting. Sure, it doesn't sound like it at all. You're being sarcastic, aren't you? No. Oh, tycoons are expensive. Tycoons are mean. Tycoons are weird. No harassment! You do not harass my girls! Oh, I hate rich assholes who basically are harassing my girls. 
Tim, I need the baseball bat. Or a knife. There we go. Get the tycoons to be happy. Ooh, look at all this money flowing, though. Oil Baron in the house! I am not good at button mashing! Damn it. My hand hurts. Ah, no problem, Survivor. Of course I would catch the heavy reference. Well, but... Okay. Okay, girl's up to level 10. That's good, that's good. Level 13, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. All right, let's get this going. Time to go on a date with the crazy lady. Go out drinking. Woo! Party! Party! Shake the boobies. I don't see you guys shaking. <coughs> I'm not dying. You okay, though? I'm fine. Again, it's a chronic cough. Her tits are massive. Ah! Everyone, I found the alcoholic! I found an alcoholic! What do we do with the alcoholics again, Tim? Mm -hmm. Throw booze at him? <laughs> Wait, she has a Kasani accent! I think. Kind of. I think she has a Kasani accent. I think. I can't identify it that well. Mind you, the only Kasani accent I listen to is Majima, so... You like manly dudes? So, um, I don't know how to tell you this. There's a really good manly dude. His name is Majima. He's mine. Back off. I will cut you. Why did you tell him about it? Tell her about it. I'm telling her if she's heard of a Majima to back off, I will cut her. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Kinda. Mm -hmm. I did. Girl, if you're drinking so much you have memory gaps, that might be a problem. What do you mean, might? Or making out with an electrical pole. Madam, you have a problem. I mean, I think the drunkest, uh, the drunkest I've ever been, I think I broke out into Disney songs, so. <laughs> and I do that normally, so. <coughs> See, that's why I gave her the sunglasses. Chronic hangover. Okay, and then great words of core, back off. <laughs> mm. 
今何妄想してたのそれは秘密にしておこう I don't like this I'm uncomfortable I don't know why I'm uncomfortable but a little uncomfortable だいぶ違うよね女の子がみんな楽しそうにしてるところが一番でっかい違いかな前の店は楽しくなかったのか楽しそうに見えたかもちろんお客さんと飲むのは楽しかったし悪いお店じゃなかったとは思うよでもノルマだの売り上げだのいろいろ厳しくてさ無理やり盛り上げて飲ませる的な指示も多いし、well, that's normal. Ow, why does my jaw hurt? Did I sleep with my jaw clenched last night? I really hate that nail polish I put on you, but I had no choice. Uh, you should work where you are happy. That's actually a very good thing to say, Kiryu. You, you, you win. You win. You win. Everyone wins. Even Tim. Tim here, you win. Yay, I win. Not gonna ask what you win? Nope. Okay. So don't ask about the weird dragon skull in your bedroom. Gotcha. The what? You want a dragon skull. I don't know. I don't know why I love that fucking meme so much. Just the the what? <laughs> the dragon skull. You know what I mean, though, right? When I say that meme, kinda. I usually say the what to the who now, but that's just me. Why is there a weird hole in the bottom of my Xbox controller? Is that where you're supposed to put your headphones or something? Yep, that's where you can put the official Xbox 360 brand microphone. Does anyone actually use it? I used to. It's the only way I had a communicate with people back in the day. Oh. Don't forget, this was a time before Discord. Oh yeah, the time of Skype. Oh uh, no, I just fucking died. And AOL. Now I've got to go through this whole fucking dungeon again. And Yahoo Messenger. Oh god. And CompuServe. Oh, no reaction to that one. I am old. <laughs> that or it was a period. That's it. Mine was free serve. Yeah. No, CompuServe was the American one. If you couldn't afford AOL, you got CompuServe. I mean, she's got a point. When you're drunk, you can't hide yourself. Imagine therapy, but with alcohol, but not for those who are alcoholics. You know what I mean? Welcome to alcoholic therapy. What are we going to use? Alcohol. No! <laughs> Why are we using alcohol? It will let you relax and help you ex admit your problems. No! <laughs> we will know your true self with all the alcohol you drink. No! I love summoning shit to solve my problems in this game. I wish I could summon shit to solve my problems in real life. You have to do laundry. Summons teeny tiny gnome. <laughs> It doesn't blink. Perfect. All right, she's already level 20. Woo! We're getting her up there to destroy the men. I mean, oh yes, but. Speaking as a man. Destroy the evil man. Which one? There's several in this world. Destroy the evil man who's very sexist. That doesn't narrow it down. 
destroy the evil man that's very sexist that's in this game. Mm. Okay, we're apparently going somewhere. I'm going on a little adventure with this woman. Let's go on an adventure, kids. Who wants to go on an adventure? Friends. Okay, so this one I don't really have to follow a certain path. So I can just beat the shit out of people. Uh. Alright, we're going on an adventure, kids. Put on your adventure hats and remember to bring your slices of melon. Oh, her shoes are cute! Those are nice shoes! Also, I need to get a blankie to wrap me up in. Blankie time. This blankie has sharks on it. Therefore, it's going to give me plus one protection. Does this remind me of just uh, one particular TikToker I've been watching a lot of? Hell's Bells? I'm not going to lie. Hell's Bells? Yes. Sharky. Sharky. I will admit, I, bought, I have a couple of shark plushies that I think of. Sharky. I need the shark right now. This is my emotional support shark. <laughs> Please, that's my emotional support, Shark. I love, I do love the Hell's Bell series. It makes me really happy. And also really sad when you learn about their backstories. I'm just like, <gasps> I know. But they're happy now. But it's also great. It's also good seeing growth in some of the other characters. Yeah, like, like Ruggy. Li Ruggy has grown. I like Ruggy. Is it Judy? Who is the name of the nice little old lady? I forget. I know. I like the older lady. She's like, remember, dear, grab, twist, and pull. Ow. <laughs> did you ow because of the grab, twist, and pull, or did you get hit in the game? Yeah. <laughs> grab, twist, and pull. Ow. <laughs> God, I'm being on. For a new hire, you got an awfully big. Oh no. Oh god, girls are being mean to girls. Girls, don't fight each other. You have a common enemy capitalism. I like to think that's a very common enemy for a lot of us. Well, being bitchy to each other. No, the common enemy is the evils of capitalism. I can go with that. It was either that or like, you guys have a bigger enemy. Who? Capitalism. Capitalism. Why? Oh my god. It's like high school up in here. And I feel nothing. It's just my brain's just going, yep, that's normal. Yep, that's high school. Yep. But these are hostesses. They're like in their 20s. So they're like college age. So them acting like bratty high schoolers is like, it makes sense, but it shouldn't at the same time, right? Does that make sense? They still have high school brain, but like, they should be maturing and they're not maturing and they need a good smack in the ass. Not in the fun way. Ah. Aww. Manager, bodyguard, doesn't matter. If you want to hurt them, you're going through me first. Kitty, you! Protector of women! Respecter of women! Kicker of ass! Did you know Kiryu has a new theme song? That's the theme song. I worked really hard on it. It took me like five seconds. <laughs> Adorable. Punch, 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 kick. Is that in response to me calling you adorable? No, that, I'm, I'm beating the crap out of a guy. I need a weapon. I need a weapon. Here's a weapon. Oh, look. Weapon. Oh, look. Another weapon. Have you ever gotten your ass kicked by a traffic cone? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> he did. Harming other hostesses. I'm going to be there. You got that? Cure you. Protector of women. Respecter of women. Kicker of ass. Lover of children. He loves kids. He loves kids. He's a good dad. We respect him here. 
Mm. About to get bad. Sorry, Q son. Kinda. Masumi chan, you're not hurt, are you? Make Masumi join us! Masumi, join our club. We're friendly. We have cake. We have a nice little old lady who makes us scarves. <laughs> as far as we're concerned, apology. She Kana says she wishes you understood how she felt. I'm sitting here going, lesbians? <laughs> a handshake? Yeah, put everything in the past. We may have our differences, but apart... Okay, yep. You still don't hate me, do you, Musumi-chan? No, how could I? You're an incredible person. Kiss! I mean, hug. Either or. Of course. They're best friends. Gal pals. Pals being gals. Gals being pals. Best female friends. It's on me today. Wait, did you say? A meal? Are you sure, Masumi-chan? Yeah, it's the least I can do. Masumi, you're about to break bank because of her. Boy. Hey, you don't know what you just signed up for. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? Sushi is ca with Kana is dangerous. I bought no less than 200 plates last time. <laughs> 200 what? Otoro, ikara, otoro, ikara, uni. Otoro, uni, 200. Oh no. Sumi Shan, are you coming? See, Masumi, you should have been like, yes, but we're limiting you. <laughs> Do what my mom does. You have a l budget. Aww. All right, girls, we're doing great. We're doing fine. We are fun. We are fancy free. Yes, we're going to open the club. We're going to do some scouting and we're going to eat this cheese puff. I found it on the floor. Uh. I'm joking. You think I I'm eat? I'm probably gonna what? head off for the night. All right. I will sneeze you around. Be safe now. I'm gonna be ho looking for hostesses and bringing them to the club. Have fun. Stay safe, etc. Of course. Don't eat the yellow snow. Bye. Bye. Yay! I didn't know I could do the scouting more than once. I've just been doing it one at a time. I could have done it multiple times, and I didn't know it. Which is good, because we need more girls on our team. Let's be perfectly honest here. I can't do any more scouting, it seems. Okay. Let's do some club management. Oh, you girls need all rest. All you girls are getting a rest.
We're gonna do a ranking match. And we're gonna go to the... Let's do Paradise League. Uh... Yeah, let's do Paradise League. <sighs> and since I have this full roster, I'm just gonna be leveling up these girls right now. Does no one make you happy? And they're all new, so be nice. I'm getting all these new girls leveled up a bit so I can use them in case I need to. She's Sekio. Damn it. <laughs> Towel for the guy. There we go. I don't need a play by play, Mr. Weird Face. Extend session. Session extended. Woo, baby! <laughs> Give expensive gift. Word of mouth bonus, baby. There we go. That will heal her up a bit, Fevers. Yes, Fevers heal. Don't think about it, audience. Okay, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. I believe in me. I believe in you. Guest class needs to be bigger, baby.
Guest class, let's go, let's go, let's go. Sunshine Fever! Of course, the one guy I wish it hit did not hit it. Ah! I am not that fast. Time to go drinking again. Woo, drinking! Woo, alcohol! Na, 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 na. Ow, my ankle! My ankle! It hurts, my ankle! Back off. Oh my god, Kiryu, are you that much of a himbo? Ah, there. I love you. No, uh, if you fall for me, you'll get, you'll only get burned. Wow, Kiryu, could you sound more like an Ege lord? The lord of the Ege? ただ、<笑> 今すぐに恋人が欲しいってわけでもないんだよね。そうなんか。うん。私こう見えて不器用だから恋愛も仕事も両立させるのってマジ無理だと思う。今は仕事の方が楽しいし大事だと思ってるから恋愛はしばらく
苦手なタイプとかはあるのか苦手なタイプうーん自分の価値観を押し付けてくる人は嫌かな。ああ、I agree with you on that department。例えば女なんだから控えめで。Oh, I extremely agree.You I like.I legitimately thought I was gonna hate you.I like you.You are a good character.I like you. You got to be about yourself. I like you. She, I like. Are you from Osaka? Because you're very blunt and I like you. I really like you. So you need to have a good idea. I really like you. So you need to have a good idea. I really like you. So you need to have a good idea. I really like you. Oh, Kiru san, you're single. Of course, I'm here. I can flirt with you. It's perfectly fine. Kiru san, Garu is good. I knew you were Garu girl! 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 好きな人と嫌いな人でかなり分かれんだよね。キリュウさんはどっちなのかなーって思ってさ。I love、okay. Thank you. Okay. 俺は黒ギャル大好きだぜ。I knew you were a girl. マジで。お世辞でもちょっと。Oh, I gotta change your hair color then. お世辞じゃないさ。たとえ黒くなかったとしても、愛花は魅力的だと思うぜ。キリュウさん、パーフェクトアンサーじゃん。さすがキャバクラの店長やるだけあるね。<笑>俺は本心を言ったまでさ。He's adorable. I like her. If you die, I will murder. Uh, yes, I want to open the club and I'm going to change one of the girls into her. Well, that would be easy. Oshiyama's day off. Let's change the shifts up. Uh, you, I want up front because I'm going to get some freaking parties out of you. Who's available that likes parties? We need party girls for this. A party! We're gonna put this line up. Basically, this is money granting and getting uh, her to level 30 so she can get the third date as well as do the fun shit. <sighs> I focus on my girls. That was easy. Top girl, go out, Genkuro go. Or Garu go. Whatever, fuck off.
Oh, don't e Extend session, session extended, nicely done. Let's get going. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Yes. I got this, I got this, I got this! Whew, let's get going. Guess what? Let's go. Sorry, I'm losing concentration all of a sudden, and I don't know why.
Oh, I was in fresh rank, so I wouldn't need to do the paradise shit. Fajaba. I was meant to do not the fresh league, but the paradise league, and I did the wrong fucking one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Itch, itch, itch. We're doing the ranking. We're doing this one because it will get more. Ex uh, more it's more partying, but uh, just trying to do this. Ice for you. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. Thank you. 
And now, boom! This is so sexu sexual. No, it's not. Woo! Make it rain! Make it rain, make it rain, make it rain. Oh, this is nice. Give this girl a reward. Give this bitch a cannon. Bitches love cannons. Nicely done, baby. <sighs> that was a lot of money. How much money do I have? Oh shit. I have to also go to the bathroom! Ugh, I must pee! I can't, I can't, I, I have to go to the restroom. I am so sorry, I'm holding it in and I can't hold it in anymore. Okay, hold on, pee, pause, pause. I'm back! Sorry everyone, just can't hold things in anymore like I used to. It's bad for your kidneys. <laughs> oh. 
したんだため息なんかついて悩みがあるなら相談に乗るぜ実はね私の親友が蒼天堀の別の店でキャバ嬢やってるんだけど喧嘩しちゃってさ喧嘩うんその子がいきなりキャバ嬢辞めるって言い出したからちょっと問い詰めちゃって。私思ったこと口にしちゃうタイプだから傷つけること言っちゃったかもなーって、うん、はあマジでどうしよう<sighs> You must apologize honestly 素直に謝るのがいいんじゃないかやっぱそうだよねああ後悔しているのならちゃんと詫びを入れる俺の知っているアイカはそんな人間だと思うぜそうだね私の方から謝ってみようとキリュウさん超感謝してる<笑>仲直りができるといいなしかしそのアイカの友達がキャバ嬢を辞めたがってる理由確かに気になるなそうっしょもともと超やる気あった子だしめっちゃ楽しそうにやってたから余計にねうーんなんかあったのかなそうかもなまあどれだけ好きな仕事でもやめたくなるような瞬間は誰にでもあるさ well, that one, that is true. 仕事をやめたくなったことってある I quit once before. 実はなすでに辞めたことがあるとある組織の4代目という役職だったんだがえー、マジすごいじゃん4代目っていうとお蕎麦屋とか<笑>ま,まあそういうことにしておくか桐生さんはその時なんで辞めたの嫌になったのああそういう部分もあったのかもしれないが俺がいない方が組織にとってもいいと思ってな組織にとってああ自分の感情と違っていても誰かのために自分から身を引くってことも世の中にはあるんだ愛花の友達ももしかしたらそうなのかもしれないぜなるほど。キリュウさん、ちょうどな。私にはそういう発想なかったわ。キリュウさんに相談してよかった。ふふ。そう、アドお役に立てたのなら何よりだ。悩みを相談できたからなんかすっきりしたな。やっぱストレス溜まってたのかもな。普段ストレスは。どうやって発散してるんだ友達と飲んだりとか騒いだりとかかな私好き勝手自由に生きてるからそもそもマジ全然ストレスたまんないんだけどね確かにそうかもしれないなキリュウさんは結構溜め込んでそうじゃんたまってるなら適度に Don't say we're releasing? Yes, please. You can relieve it for me. Really? Okay. I'm going to relieve it for you. What? I'm going to relieve it for you. Kiryu, I'm going to relieve it for you. That is a very open question that I will not answer. If I'm going to relieve it for you, I'm going to relieve it for you. What? それならいつでもいいし紛らわしい言い方マジやめてくれるすまんアイカは将来になりたいものとかあるのかうーん将来かこれってものはないな私先のこと考えるのマジで苦手だし We all are. At least I am. 今生きてる時間が大事だと思うからその時の気持ちに従おうってなるほど愛からしいなでも確かに
私5年後とか何してんだろう俺が愛花の部下になってるかもしれないぞ<笑>それ超面白い下克上目指して頑張ろっかな私が偉くなったら桐生さんにトイレ掃除でもさせまくろうっと<笑>おいおいお手柔らかに頼むぜあ、A wonderful moment No emotional damage and now we're going to destroy the fancy club Yeah, we're just gonna open the club and we're actually gonna see if we can go up against the other one. Can we go up against the other one yet? We can. Okay. Get the best girls out there. We need more talk. Okay, which one of you girls is really good at the talk? She's not in a good mood. Wow, y'all. Yeah. She's good at the talk. Yeah. I can only have six girls on the team. Oh shit. Okay, six girls on the team. How should I actually be strategic about this shit? Okay. We're good in the love and the skill. It's the party and the talking we're having issues with right now. Okay. That's a lot better. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. I can only do six. There's six. Hopefully I can do this one. Capable and I'll always support you the best I can. <laughs> yes, sir. So you're Shoko Chan? Came through your so called bonds all you wish. The perfect queen desires execution and she shall have it. In truth, I want her to exact a heavier penalty. I want her to exact a heavier penalty seeing you were expelled from the tournament, but that wasn't satisfying. 
Of course he's the one who got us penalized. Does this shock you? He's the bad guy. He owns most of the clubs. <laughs> Yo, Shoko. You cool with us? What happened to your pride, girl? Can't call it a win if you stoop to this troll's level. I'm sorry. So what? My orders are to beat you definitely, and Kazuzi-san's plan just means that is a means to the end. Okay, girl, if you keep acting like this, I'm gonna make you look like a robot when I hire you. I'm kidding, I won't do that. Why would I? Smoking like a real robot. <laughs> You're welcome to try. And now let the curtain of today's dramatic battle begin! I believe in us. We can do this. I believe in us. Because no one else is going to believe in us. And why did I screen grab that? Okay, she was requested. Best girl, go out! Well, not my best girl, but awesome girl, go out! Ladies, glass for you. Extend session, of course. God damn it. What? No! 
Oh, that's assholey! That's it. Extend session. Yes, we're about to do the big thing. A fuck are you. Oh, you're pissing me off, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta make more money. Girl, you just made most of the money tonight. I'm just wanting you to know this right here, right now. I'm gonna be like skin of my teeth winning again. <laughs> Big skin of my teeth. Oh, by one million. I won! Woo! <sighs> God. Take that son of a bitches. <sighs> oh, I can buy that really cool sword. for this. Oh no, she did kneecap me. I just was able to recover really quickly. Shoko, I lost Akia. Yeah, but were you going easy on us? What do you mean? You may be able to fool Kazakzi, but I know the real Shoko had better moves than the junk you were throwing out. <gasps> oh. I wouldn't say I went easy on you. I just kind of lost it out there. Lost? Eh. Yeah. I guess you caught up with me. Burying my emotions and killing my real self, playing the perfect queen. Ow! Shoko, welcome to what we know as burnout. It's a wonderful thing. No, it's not. Anyone who tells you that is a liar. Because she was pressured to be perfect. Most likely her childhood caused this, knowing how Japan is. So, when I got this job, I wanted to show customers a real human, not another hostess, but I was naive. I got a drunk compass around my table, and then he got violent. It's terrible. From then on, I was scared to show my real self, so I kept my emotions hidden. And I put on a fake smile. Oh, she has trauma! Join the club. <laughs> that sounds so mean, but you know, this is welcoming. I perfected my service skills, ensuring that I may never made so much as single mistake to avoid all trouble with customers. That's why you're in the title Perfect Queen. Yeah. <sighs> but I couldn't keep it up. I even talked to Kazakhan about it, and he said oh, my asset was my allure of a queen. He told me to kill my real self. Oh, shit, that is fucked up. Us? You 
guys seem really to enjoy your work. Aww. Even Kanachan and Aki are thriving here, to be honest. It made me kind of jealous to see you two. Meanwhile, here I was agreeing to a plan that trapped you all while protecting the championship. I can't help but feel empty, I guess. Sure, though. I really wanted to have a fair match, and I'm sure the doubt was feeling threw off my focus. Kanz is right. I'm a joke of a queen. Oh, I couldn't even keep my composure up long enough to do my job. Yeah. It's not true at all. Isn't that how it's supposed to be? Oh, huh? You smile when you're happy, you get angry when things go awry, and you cry when you're sad. That's real life. Here to you, dropping the emotions, dropping the truth. There's nothing wrong with playing a part, but not at the cost of your true self. So you lost your composer. That's the real you, right? Kiruso, nobody's ever said anything like that to me. <laughs> I think that frown just got turned upside down. Look at you, Shoko. Turns out there is a human under those circuits. It's not gonna make her look like the robot queen of God. Uh, a beautiful, sexy board queen. Fight me. Hey, no teasing, please. <laughs> Look is right, you know. That smile we just saw, ten times brighter than any of my any queens. Thank you. Shoko chan, listen, why don't you come work with us at Forshine? You'd have me? Yes, they'd have you! Of course. Oh. This is so tender and sweet. I love this. No objections? Uh. You're right. But I do have a condition. You're only allowed to be service customers as a real Shoko. You don't have to be perfect. I don't even care if you get into fights with customers. But you gotta face them as Shoko, the real human woman. Not Shoko, the perfect hostess. Can I still do the robot look though? It's really cute. Do we have a deal? <gasps> yes, of course. Thank you very much, Kiruza. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Oh yeah, I said this calls for a party. Good idea. I'm sure Kiruza wouldn't mind paying. Yeah, thanks for covering this one, Kiruza. I mean, he has four million in his pants. It's okay. Uh? Don't don't I get a say in this? Nope. Of course you do. You have all you have to do is say yeah. Yay! <laughs> so the Millionaires League is the only one left standing. Seems you're fairly conserving, Kazaki kun I apologize. No need for that. As long as the Grand Prix stays exciting enough to bring an audience, I couldn't care less. That's awfully glib. How do So how does your under the table cut? Do you feel about living with your means? Not since you put it that way. I suppose you're right. Unfortunately for Shine, they'll have to lose. I don't want to resort to such drastic measures, but as you said, we share a common fate. I'll leave that to you, and on my side, I'm going to turn up the pressure. Oh, sounds delicious. I look forward to seeing that. You are getting your ass kicked. Concocting another devious scheme. Uh. Indeed. This time will be different. All the same, this, is, this time I have a backup plan as well. Backup plan? Is that what you mean by pressure? <laughs> I've already got Yoda-san on the case. Look on. Hmm? Yes, it's a woman. That's Koyoku-chan. What are you planning? Oh, wait until you see it. Forshine, you've gone far enough. He's given the order. That plan I mentioned? Yeah. Time to bust a move, then. You've got this, Yoda-chan. Don't... If you don't... I know we can't fail. I got this. Just leave it to me. What's she gonna do? And why do I feel like there's the word napping involved and not the fun kind of napping? <laughs> ah, shit! We're finally down to the last league. From today, we fight for the Millionaire League. I take your opponents have cash to burn. Pretty much, these clubs attract the rich and elite, and money flies around like the bubble never popped. But the clientele makes the girls jump over the highest hurdles. If the team has any weak spots, they find them. I can see why they saved this league for last. The champ, Platinum, Kinicho's Platinum Goddess, has an ace in the hole, too. The national hostess herself, Yuachan. Mm -hmm. National hostess? Yeah, she's practically more idle than a hostess. 
people say she has this aura of mystery and charm about her. And a grappling hook! The only way to beat her is for your own club's ace girl to counter that aura with her own. So we need an ace, you're saying? Where shines ace? Sweetie, it's you! Boink, boink! You're on fire, Shark. I'm watching you work like poetry in motion. Poor Shark, it's easy to see how you earned the perfect queen title. Hardly, Ch Katachan, you're the natural. I only wish you were as hyper as you. I'm working on some new cut. You're a little thick girl, but when Shoko drops a compliment, I'll take it. If you're tired. Oh. Koyoko chan, you okay? Nothing. Excuse me. Darling, you are the top girl. I don't know how to tell you this. You're our ace in the hole, just like Yuki was for when the original club shine. <sighs> You're right, but what? Can we do makeovers now? Fuck. More cutscenes. Everyone's amazing at this job. I got into this because I wanted to be what Yuki Wan was, but I was nowhere near that level. Sweetie, you are that level. Sweetie. You hold on. Did Yuki Chan tell you about how many mistakes and frumpy how frumpy she looked to do to the other girls? And she was still the best. Oh. No. I am hearing myself right now. Good. You listen to yourself. I gotta keep my head up high and get to aim better. And this is where the kidnapping happens, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Done. Done. Have you heard from Koyuki chan? Yeah. Nope, not lately. She's not answering her phone, and we've been going to make a mistake. Cheers, you do. Hmm, she's not the type to just show up, not show up to work. I wonder what happened. Maybe something about work that's bothering her. Oh, yeah. From here on out, you will have to battle without Koyuki. Okay. I can handle that. Kinda. Not really, I can't handle that. I'm gonna do makeovers. God, I hate this song. <laughs> SS Makeovers! Woo! Going to... Akia. No, sorry. Choco. <sighs> Circles. Triple necklace. Simple bracelet? Really? That it? Alright. Uh, now we get to do the fun shtick. Okay, what outfits do we have? I'm sorry? They brought this back? Really? Space buns! Yes!
I just want this face bun here. Don't judge me, universe. I need sexy. How do I up the sexy? Change the dress. I don't want to know how they think this is sexy. Okay, we have something normal now. Okay. Oh, where'd all these followers come from? Uh, hold on. Don't mind me, I'm just doing a sweep. Let's see. Am I still doing my Borg Queen idea? Yes.
Oh, that looks so wrong. getting a little tired. I'm thinking maybe I'll do the rest of this tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Uh, fudge. There's days of the week now, right? I'm actually gonna end the stream actually because I'm very very tired very tired and I just need to my throat's starting to hurt and I need to rest so let me just hold on 